Hey, you remember that one time I burped? Oh yeah. You oughta. All night I've been waiting to tell you this. I sold our steamboat. What do your friends say to you? My one-eyed traveling companion said that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome, you know, that's one of my guys. Do I still have a shirt on? Yeah. Thought I did. He's so cute! Definitely is. Alright. I see, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all got the wrong guy. He's Illuminati. Come on, man, he's Illuminati. I bet I find that thing he sent you. Yeah, I feel cranky. It's the flea bites. Man, I went to basketball camp. Do I look as white as I sound? Piggy bank. Oh, Roberta! Excuse me. Hey, we cope with static. You hear me? Yeah, we cope with static. What do you think about? Uh, mostly like handwriting or delightful goats or something. Uh, ferrets, they're nice. Um, the surprising ways of hot tuna. Leg bonk. Hey man, he got a belt buckle. You can't let him wear a belt buckle. It's razor sharp and it hurts. Hey, remember that time I called you G-Money? <laughs> okay, I'm here. Wait, what you talking You have about? beans within your mouth. You have beans within the mouth. Yes, you have beans within the mouth. I don't hear because you have beans within the mouth. Hey, you look like a piece of meat. Now turn back around. How could you not like snow? 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 I lick snow. It's totally normal. It's not harmful. Hey, you know what? Like, y'all don't know snow like I do. See, like, I'm like a snow lover. Yeah, we steady rolling through this Kmart. Hey, you steal my hot candy? Okay, first we put our shirts up like this. Uh -huh. And now I'm gonna look like I'm telling you like some secret basketball wisdom. And you look at me and nod. I said nah. Don't take so long next time. Okay. That's all. Alright. That potion is ours. Give it to him. Hey, that's our potion! That's our potion! Man, I found that dog. You found him? Dog Bart. found you! Bart. Be quiet, fake dog. Bart. How was your weekend? Uh, it was the first time in my life I woke up in the desert holding a knife. I just didn't know what was happening, but I guess my phone for the night must have been kind of heavy. I think that could have been a chopper. Hey, Willie, hey, hey, Willie. Hey, Willie, how many, ha, ha, chop, chop, chop. Why you look like a crocodile? With a raggedy cane. Y'all smell nasty. This is emotion. I'm mad. Take it back. You are weak in the head. You're like a regular rock. You're not like a real estate guy. This is correct. The first time I met a vagabond, I smiled at him. I passed on the grace of my beard. Okay, look, I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, that was bogus. The thing smells like a horse died on a sad clown. Here. Um, another flying plate? Come on, son. That's a poltergeist. Automatic. That's what I say. Yo, yo, yo. Drogo. Apple Jackson, white chocolate. You hear me, Cal Drogo? Sorry, what's up with the accent? Right now, I want to go and drink tea. Normally, I would not. Oh, wow. I think I'm you. I'm your clone. I like that. Hey, you ought to dress like me. Nails and hair, fancy face. Yeah. <coughs> like woman. Did you drink my tea? What? You drink my tea? You probably drink. Drink my tea? No, I don't want that. Drink my tea. Fine, I drink it. You must feel great, huh? I mean, y'all already thought this, but my hair looks good. Don't put that photo on my Facebook. You're not my friend. Yes, they do. Cows don't cheat. Yes, Shrimps do. don't sneeze. Yes, they do. Crickets can't they cry. Do that, Turtles don't yes, sing. They do sing. They do sing a song. But last night I pooped a glass. And then I done fell down one step. Now, how is that even possible? It's just one step. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Nobody wants my bread. Nobody wants my bread! <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that was really loud. I thought I would just crash this wedding. Every day I worry all day. I was waiting in the bushes of love. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Yeah, something's waiting in the bushes of love. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? This is the African Caesar, and this is the new and improved Sunday, e Sunday evening version of the sneaker box. I wish I had a chance to do that back over. Uh, but, you know, well, shit happens. We're the beauty live. of your life. Yeah, so, anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is the Sunday evening version, so... Which uh, includes the new and improved dunks. Yes. And so we wanted to, obviously, for a number of reasons, but the main reason was to allow... Some of our West Coast listeners to participate in the live show. I know you guys have a lot to say, especially this week. It's been a lot of shit we're going to get into. You got the Vanessa Bryant situation with Nike. You got, uh, <laughs> you got internet beefs. <laughs> what? You got beef. I don't know what we're going to. Our names got, are just all yep. over the place. We got uh, internet beefs with, uh, what was that, Kai cool and uh, Kai some and dude. Ami and a Hellcat. Some guy in a Hellcat. Ami and a Hellcat. Some guy in a Hellcat. Some guy in a Hellcat. Dunks right. was whipping a scat pack. That's all yes. I know. So we bring that back. moment of the show. Look at the truth you get. Horrible. I'm a horrible human being. I admit it. Uh, but About no. time you admitting to it. No, I mean, there's a lot you. of things. Under Armour, we got the SEC. That thing finally got a uh, an ending. So we got a number of things you to get the Dr. Fossey emails too. Dr. Fossey email. Yeah, we might get into that too. Yeah, hey, I and mean, X is on Discord now. Minor not, news, minor news. Yeah, minor, minor news. We'll get into that. We got a whole slate of news to get into. And for the first time ever, we're going to do a uh, YouTube sneaker review review actually on the show. So, makes add sense. a segment. Yeah. Because I actually, I really, really, because I, I don't think Guru was in any of them. So, I don't think Guru wants to be in any of I don't of think them. he wants to either, which is going to make it all the more entertaining to see to make them suffer through some of these videos, mm. especially the, the UAs. The more the better when we're just slandering people and making enemies. I, <laughs> I agree. I, well, the last, the last one that was done, I, I wasn't here for the guy with the braids. I can't remember his name, but he, in the comments, he seemed pretty cool. No, everybody's been cool except, except for the Clifford one. the Red Dog. That was it. I, wow. That was it. Control. I'm wow. a, gonna be like, they're going to give you like an extra 100 hours worth of community summers during uh, Women's Month next year. <laughs> well, you know, fingers crossed. Uh, so terrible. yeah, so we got a number of things to go, it's terrible. <laughs> to go yeah, through. Yeah, terrible. Uh, by the way, this show is brought to you by Cashew gets a job. Cashew gets a job. Dunks is going for the uh, New York Times uh, best author. So let's Appreciate get that book the support, motivational yes. story that anyone can relate anymore. to. Oh, there we go. There we go. I shouldn't have touched it. No, anyway. didn't you say you were working on a sequel? I am. I don't want to say too much about it, but go ahead buy the first one, and then I'll bring you the second one. There we go. So on that note, uh, let me introduce everybody. Of course, you know me, the host. We got the contrarian of the show, Gino. Yeah, even though I'm there, but my name ain't there. Yes. Like, but it's me. We could share the, you know, it's a slam dunk moment. I, you know what? Slam say dunk. Can we not get the graphic on that one screen for them? Uh, I was trying to fix it, but that's why the little overlay I mean, got I'm messed up there. The I had to go I might the, look over yeah. there. the feeds. I don't know which. It's so many cameras now. Yeah, new show, new camera. But y'all do angles. make up the powerful combination of slam dunk, so we can just. There you go. That's Wait, literally the miss. focus hope symbol. Uh, it, no, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Food just tastes better. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. The Focus Hope had the worst listen, cereal in oh, all cereals. Listen, everything was, tastes was, delicious was, when you're broke. And then who they, who was their target audience? Black people. <laughs> right, right. Everything I mean, it was, the, it was the, the, the underprivileged. Yes. Okay. Listen, I, I grew up on Focus Hope, so yeah, we were, I'm pretty I, sure. I, you would not hear me have any Focus Hope slander. I'm pretty sure everybody uh, in here, hey, except for Dunks, has had to eat Focus Hope uh, food no. before. Yeah, Dunks, I have no Dunks idea eat is. Focus Hope. That's what I'm saying. He's the only one that has yeah, He's like the only privileged person on the show. Mm, no, Focus Hope was terrible. Yes. Dunks had caviar when he was a kid. And we also have Guru on the show. Yes, we have. <laughs> 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 Thank you. He is the con Guru is literally the conscience of this show. Because yeah. Lord knows I don't have one. Six so. years strong, no negative reviews on iTunes. 
No. They probably been deleted. No. No, I don't. You yes. You have no negative. They didn't say you by name. No, it was clearly you. You got to put an address on it. No, it was clearly you. No, it was not clearly. You was the only person that did it, bro. You you have a name though. Yeah, the the fake Chinese act. No, only one person. That is another classic moment. Everybody else's name except mine. They said Gino. They said they said no because they said they are racist because they made fun of these voices. Last I checked, only one of us did that ever in the history no, of the show. Have, dog, you, your whole, you, uh, what? what's the Yelp reviews our voices? I'm not making those. Are, that's different. Oh, that's different. <laughs> that's that's different. different. That's different. So I'm different. not making fun you. of an ethnic it? voice. Yeah, you I'm just giving them but weird you voices. In ethnic voices. No, I'll just be making weird voices. As, it wasn't nobody in particular. Voices, right? Okay, but like I said, zero <laughs> negative reviews. <laughs> zero negative reviews. Don't tell you, man. Some people. Man. I got negative reviews after my first time speaking with you guys. You got negative reviews when you showed up. Yeah. But you are a Jackie Robinson. You brought the color barrier on the show, so. Yeah. Damn right. Shout out to you. Well, technically, didn't Francis break the color barrier? Because he's not black. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's a minority, too. Like, okay, so you could be, he could be Jackie Robinson, and you'd be like Willie Mays, you know? Go. There you go. It. All right, yeah, let's do that. What about Sneaker Girl? Didn't she kind of break a. The uh, gender barrier? gender barrier? Yeah. 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 No, we just making we just all types of. This show is revolutionary. Uh, we are advancing the human race one show at a time. So <laughs> we're the uh, only show that does that. The rest of society are. is we cursed. We are the only sneaker show that can claim to do that. So shout out to us. Uh, anyway, like I said, we teased the topics. Uh, this is episode two ninety six, which means we are four episodes away from three hundred. I thought two ninety six was last week. No, that was two ninety five. Damn. Sheesh. Catch up. Anyway, I ain't yeah. been here in a while. Catch up, mustard. It's almost three hundred. 300 let's go i man i'm excited for it like honestly like i mean all the work that we put into the show and to get to this point it has been it's been rough at times but you know a lot more fun than bad so i have nothing but positive thoughts there's only one dark area in the history of this show one well oh you missed it we're depends on, no, yeah, I, I, yeah, no, I was gonna say they kissed and made up no that 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 was actually entertaining no. from my point of view but no, you know what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna bring it up. I ain't about to waste time on the show about that. I just wanted to point it out. I just wanted people to know. Wait, I was, do know? Yeah, you know. You know, you do know. What Gino do know? knows. I know he's playing. No, I think he just wants no, me to talk really about it. No, I really don't know. I mean, there's no. been a lot, of, a lot of dark moments. You, set. you know. Okay, all right. We're just gonna leave it at that then. You know. Just wait for the tell all book to come out 30 years from now. Probably come out sooner than that. Have done oh, right. Yeah, I'll start. I know, yeah. yeah I'm just saying. <laughs> you have an author now. Like, yeah. Cashew has a story. This one won't be a I like that. Book. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be like like Zanes or something like that. It's gonna be X-rated. <laughs> if it's gonna be a C story. <laughs> like what section of the book? Note, uh, what section of the book story? Like be hiring. <laughs> yeah, we we still couldn't. Uh, we didn't fill that spot, huh? What spot? I mean, you slam, put, dunk. <laughs> you put the post out. I reposted it for you too. We didn't what, fill the spot. Post? Oh, for the ladies. Yeah, man. This is what I be talking. Respect female sneaker. This is what That's happens. All. When you live in a city like Detroit, because it does get really hard to find a uh, knowledgeable female sneakerhead, because most girls just buy shoes for the, you know, they just buy it. They don't know. At least here. And it, it is very hard to find somebody who can uh, add to the conversation sometimes, but, you know, shout out to the ladies, though. Like, there's a lot of ladies just not here in Detroit, so. Damn. Well, I mean, tell me, we're not in Detroit right now. The, okay, the Metro Detroit area. Mm-hmm. That, that better. I'm Did pretty sure you? there's some young lady in Birmingham with some Yeezys on that you would, <laughs> <laughs> that you would like to have on the show. Dog, if there was you ever a way to get fired before you even get the she, job, she, that would be it. <laughs> she, you know, that driving was... a nice Jeep Compass, you know what I'm saying? Or something no, she like probably that got shit. a Range Rover. Yeah, out here in, in the ponytail, or she wearing it down today. No, your you know details are so specific. Like, like you know, maybe like Jeep some compass. mimosas on Saturday mornings. Human you know? resources right here. Yeah, yeah, so. That used to be Sneaker Girl. No, nah, yeah, I don't she remember She retired. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, she wasn't like nothing right. Man, that's, was, that's again why we need. She was the FCC. That's why we need Caesar's book to come out. Yeah, man, I, I wait for his book to come out. Too. I was, I'm waiting, I got so many stories, man. I wait ridiculous. for his book to come out too. Uh, but first, make sure to follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter at TSB underscore Radio. You can follow us on Instagram. No, I'm sorry, TSB Show. That's on Twitter. We're not on radio anymore. We're a show now. Uh, and then you can follow us on Instagram by following the Sneaker Box underscore show and then you could go on Facebook and look up the sneaker box radio show page and so the phone lines we're going to have it up today but of course you know 
things just can't go our way sometimes. We can't get everything we want. So, Gino unless doesn't even get a, a name tag. Yeah, unless it's who? A jersey. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, no, so anyway, we, we'll have the phone lines up by next week, I promise. I know I've said that like 10 shows in a row. Oh, you said that since time. we've been on what we're I, sports. I was yeah, sending no. people the number. Huh? I, people actually want to call in. I was sending out the number. No, yeah, I, I know. I sent out the number too. But what you can do is leave us a comment in the live chat, and then, you know, hopefully we can get – can we still throw those up on the uh, screen? That's when they come through? missing. We yes, usually sir. have that. Yeah, but yeah, no, well, they, we got these they, two. They, they usually throw them up on the screen now. Oh, but Dunce can't see either. We got two of the blindest people on the other side <laughs> of the table. Don't try me to no, I said, dog. Bro, we went from a what we getting, forty-five inch to a you have to like that was my uh, decision. Uh, Aerostar conversion fan flip <laughs> down, and you <laughs> expect me to see the fine print on stuff, man? Kick rocks in the moon with no gravity. I mean, they got rid of the screen so they can add another camera. You have to like that was my decision. Exactly Excuse me, I'm cool, not even sure which camera I'm supposed to be looking at. I don't trust Top me. I'm having bottom. the same problem. I'm just exactly. looking down. Like, I'm just hyper focused on that one. I'm just gonna look in between. We need red lights. Look at that one. Look at the top of it. No, y'all got We need real life. We got a tour of C's yeah. over here. Perfect. Well, C's don't never know which camera to look at. I told you, C's need the red See what was part? That's why when you get black folks a live show. But no, so. Don't seriously. Work. Okay, three black folks <laughs> in one day. But no, like, first of all, the TV situation. You're like, playing I, the you like it was my decision. Like, I, I love the big screen. But you don't say when you go from a big TV, it was clear to Because you can barely TV. read that. So don't I act like you. No, I can read that fine. This, I can't see. I can't. I'm gonna we should just can, you, can you not see that other one? Huh? Or is it at a wrong angle? Hey, we should just call this a Caesar and Friends sneaker show. Caesar and Friends. <laughs> Everybody has a name. We I mean, you guys are dunks. So, together. Slam. Done. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hopefully we had the phone lines up. But like I said, if you want to uh, contribute to, that, to today's show, uh, you can hit us up in the live chat. We'll throw the best comments up on the screen as we go. No, we um, want to throw the worst comments up, too. Yeah, fuck it. Just the best yeah. and worst. Let's go that. Take what Let's we go that route. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Hello? Um, but like I said, I know there's a lot of people that want to respond to a lot of the stuff that's been talked about. Um, and so, uh, but anyway... If you do want to leave us a message, if you do want your voice to be heard, you can leave us a voicemail at 248-677-1803. Maybe you want to respond to something we said on the show or you have a sneaker comment and question. Uh, we'll address it on another show. I believe we have one voicemail we're going to get to later today. Um, but I guess we can get right into it. Oh, actually, one more thing I want to do, I do want to address. Uh, we did a... Um, I did a thing with MGL 23 Dan, kind of talk about the Vanessa Bryant. And we'll go in more detail about that later, but. Shout uh, out to eBay. I think they actually, um, they, they pulled he it. persuaded them to pull yeah. it. Yeah, yeah but like, that, that's what kind of bothers me because. Oh. No, no, eBay, they did. I, I felt like they did the right move. And I think, but it took like a whole day for Golden StockX to follow. StockX being like the last one to, I guess, make the call, whatever. Like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like if you got to be guilt tripped. Into doing I mean, something. businesses, they don't, it's dollars over morals, you know that. I'm just saying, like, at the, at the end of the day, I mean, first of all, was anybody going to stop doing business with StockX if they didn't have those Kobe's on there? No, but I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying, just out of, just out of this. All right, we're going to get that together. But, no, seriously, though, I, I just thought it was something that, um, if you see every other business doing it, I mean, why drag your feet? You know, why be, like, the last one? to take like a whole 48 hours to do what everybody else did I mean, two days before you? Mississippi didn't wait until 1996 to make uh, slavery uh, legal, so. I just That's true. People take their time all day. Arizona was the last state to actually make Martin Luther King Day an actual holiday. So if you start this, <laughs> do you want to be Arizona? I mean. <laughs> I was just down there, it was lit. Huh? I, said, I was just in Arizona, it was lit. Were you, were you there on January 20th? No. Okay, then. No. <laughs> no, he was in D.C. Um, well, that was January 6th. Yeah. He was there for the aftermath. <laughs> oh, you talking about him? Yeah, yeah. him. Yeah, him. <laughs> him. <laughs> oh, man. I was there right I know. It's I know funny. No, it's he funny how, around and called no, him a black Republican. You know what's I great? think he was going to be No, 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 no. You that. know what's great about that? The joke only became funny when it was about somebody else. Uh, nah. <laughs> Oh, it's about dunks. <laughs> no, I'm talking uh, about the January. So you saying he didn't go up for Martin Luther King Day, but he did for January. Yeah. Not the thing. Okay, that's when they ran up on the Capitol. And all right, let's actually talk about sneakers. Let's get to our five five sneaker releases 
from the previous week. Can we talk about shoes? At some point. Oh, Republicans like sneakers too? Then. Huh? <laughs> Republicans like sneakers too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Michael Jordan. <laughs> they like monarchs. <laughs> uh, number five, we have the Nike Air Max 97 Puerto Rico. Uh, it was a basic shoe. I I wasn't that excited about them. The Puerto Rican bullet? Mm-hmm. Like the only thing Puerto Rican about it is the small little flag on the top of the tongue. It's one on the sole, too. Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because people see that when, they, when you're wearing them. Exactly. I tried, didn't get it, but it's not a bad shoe. It's essentially silver bullets. <laughs> let's just stop kidding ourselves. And I don't know. It's a, shoes like this bother me because it, it it's they do the bare minimum. Nothing and, special. But you guys exactly. think they couldn't really do a real Puerto Rican one because I think it was 2019. They did a red, white, and blue Air Max 97 with a 95 and an Air Max 1. So yeah. that color scheme they would have used for the Puerto Rican day or Puerto Rico, it was already used already. I mean, they could have did this. I don't well, know. Shit, I, the silver could've... bullet colorway was used already. I was going to say, like, if you're going to rehash <laughs> yeah, colorways. That's, I mean... why, that's why I think they did that, but no. I, I don't know. It's, I feel like there was something they could have done. I don't know, something that was intrinsically specific to that culture. Uh, it didn't even have to be the flag. It could have been something, mm-hmm. you know, they that could have, they could have tried a little harder, or you know. Yeah, I mean, you paying you are it. paying designers to come up with shit that I think of in five minutes, and yeah. I'm not even getting paid. Yeah, stuff with food, right? Like how you had the uh, the seeds collab was gonna be like a Big Mac or something like that with fries and ketchup and mustard bases. <laughs> Why am I getting the death stare? Like you didn't actually think of that. I hate you so much right now. What? Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> I mean, I, like, he, he, you did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't me down. Like, that, like, that shit, that shit should have came with ketchup, pack of salt, napkins. Well, no, I'm saying if you're going to do a collaboration, like, and I <laughs> use it as an example. I you, I know I you. Use, <laughs> order it wouldn't be surprising. We in Birmingham yeah, or I, first of all, I use it as an example, right? Because it was we had the conversation about fast food, so I'm like, yo, if I do a collaboration, fast food, yada yada yada, this is what I would do. So. But even then, when I talked about it, I don't know what episode that was. I think we were still a podcast to trade with that. Yeah. The point is, like, off the top of my head, I put way more detail into my hypothetical collaboration than I've seen in any collab within the last few years. No, the, well, pa- the, the collab for Nike. The paper should be like the big. The, uh, the no, why are we expanding on that conversation? I mean, what? It should. That would be. It dope. has been said and done. Right. <laughs> should be like a stain on the shoe. Oh, I hate you so much. Like ketchup on there. Oh, okay. It should be like some Nigel Sylvester, uh, them Jordan ones. It should rub off. And your, re- and your receipt <laughs> should be greasy when you pay for the shoe. <laughs> and it should say the, Jefferson. Hey, look, the box should have grease stains on it. Absolutely. Like hand Absolutely. And uh, yeah. that, uh, what was that, that Big Mac sauce that's Thousand Island? I like Y'all having way too much fun with this. <laughs> way because too much fun. Because like you said it like you was ordering it. You was like, man, it let, me get, with let me get an Air Max 95, no pickles, no tomatoes, sesame <laughs> bun, Big Mac, <laughs> napkins on the side, salt and pepper laces. Like, you said it like it was an order. <laughs> That's what it was funny. I hate y'all. A pickle lace lock? <laughs> I hate y'all so much. <laughs> I hate y'all so and much. And it should right come right. with a toy. It's got to come with a toy. Now, that would be dope. Let's say that would be dope. That would be dope. No, we 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 had that would be dope. The Megatrons came with a toy. Oh yeah, they, they did. They did. Yeah. They See, that's what I'm saying. Now, that would have been dope. That would have been dope. But you know, whatever. I'm just saying with shoes like this, you know, what I'm saying like looking at that shoe right now from that point of view, if I was to tell you that was a Puerto Rican shoe or that was to pay homage to uh, Puerto I Rican know, day, I don't story. I don't even know the holiday. I, mean, I don't even maybe, act like I do. Maybe Nike's uh. You know, research department found out that the research department. Yeah, if they have one, um, I'm sure high, they do. A high <laughs> percentage of Puerto Rican. That department has not been accessed. A in high years. percentage of Puerto Ricans like the silver bullet ninety sevens. That, that may be, maybe. Or uh-huh. about sixty percent of people in the sneaker culture don't really know much, so it's easy to pass this <laughs> off on them anyway. So <laughs> that's true. Or, uh, or they could have been like, "Hey, we know if we do a silver bullet light colorway, it's going to sell out." Regardless, I just throw a flag on it. Little, little, little tiny, a little t- the tiniest of flags, but well, they could have removed. Matter of fact, they could have removed the swoosh and put the flag right there in that little space. They gonna remove a swoosh to put a Puerto Rican Day flag. That's my point, though. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. Exactly. Brandon, you know, I was gonna gonna say. Exactly. See, that's, but you're making my point, though. Exactly. But no, I mean, it's got the hints of as if we don't know what an Air Max look like. The 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 swoosh has got the blue outline. Hey, hold on, this the is the, the top five or the worst five. 
the top five. Oh, this okay. is a slow week. Man. With this shoe, I was a little unsure. Slow oh, wow. week. Wow. You don't like the shoe? It's just, it's too. There's no it's nothing value. special. Of course That's my like point. It. But I mean, I don't, honestly. <laughs> Thanks, Juno. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought that would be better. <laughs> Damn. All right, so no, but I mean, I agree with you. Honestly, I feel like nothing, it was really not that many special shoes to begin with this week. So, I mean, no, kind week, of slim pickings. Now, this week sucked. Really? What, well, last uh, week. Not last, this week. Last week was, I can't remember last week. Well, no, because it was last week because today is Sunday. See what True. Like, yes. Yeah, so, anyway, number four. Now, this was dope. We got the Mimi Plains. Am I saying that right? Mimi Plains, special edition, Nike LeBron 18, low, higher learning. These are dope. I like these. These are cool. Dope. I saw the young lady's story behind it on the sneakers app. That was dope. Yeah, shout out to, and I'm, I'm glad the fact that they're uh, utilizing more female collaborators. And he he be letting the black woman get down on his shoes. Yeah, LeBron, shout out to him. Yeah, because he had Harlem the um, fashion role. Yep, and then yep. I'm like, he be letting the black woman get down on that. So. Yeah. I like the I like everything about the shoe. I'm just not a fan. Now, of see, the now that's a collaboration though. Like yeah, you, know, you say higher like, learning, I, like I immediately pick up on the theme when I see the shoe. Got the Letterman jacket thing going on. That's a collab. I just right don't there. like the silhouette. That's the only thing. What? What's wrong with the silhouette? I LeBron lows probably since what's the ones they started to drop again now? Was it the nine lows? I don't know. Like all remember. the ones like really probably like. I mean, LeBron Lowe's are acquired taste. Yeah, like it's. They're acquired. I mean, this but these one, though, like, this I don't probably been the best one in a while, though. Like, I, this yeah. One. I mean, that's, not even, that's not even a low top. It is. That's really top. like a three quarter. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I mean, like I said, I like the, I like the actual collaboration for the shoe. It, no, it, 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 it looks dope. I actually forgot these were dropping. I actually had these on my radar, and then the day oh, came and went. And Nike didn't send them to you? No, not this pair. Oh, they mad at me right now, so. There's I mean, still time. They really going to be mad at me after this show. So, yeah. Dropping some great uh, clue bombs on these. Mm, I'm surprised. Yeah. Hey, you know, I, I see they, they really must be no converses up here this week, huh? <laughs> yeah. They mad at you too? <laughs> I mean, he got a couple Jordan brands. So it's still a Nike, but yeah, he don't got no Nikes up here. Yeah, I think. And he the, made sure to put the Reebok by him. Is that the real player PE of that one? <laughs> well, I think it is. Yeah. I believe it is. No, because there's no uh, duck in the You back. know, what was that Malik from Renaissance? I went to Oregon. Oh, uh, Malik Harris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Malik Harris. Yep. <laughs> Ridiculous. Straight off his foot. It's probably he got his autograph. <laughs> then he got, the Tony, he got the Tony Kukoc Hall of Fame undefeated Jordan 1 <laughs> Team Jordan. <laughs> team Jordan. Jordan Team 96 and 72 and 10. <laughs> team Jordan. <laughs> got D Brown's alternate pump. Wow, he was thinking about wearing that one, but he changed his mind. Yeah, black one instead. Y'all not gonna rent him up, right? Yeah, I'm and then too we much got fun. the Gregory, Gregory Hines. Hines. Yeah, the Gregory Hines tap dance, aka DSW two inch flats. DSW two inch. Flats. <laughs> With that there goes that the Jason back. Maiden interview. <laughs> like, <I'm> <laughs> so. <laughs> Jason, I was guru. Don't be mad at me. I mean, I just don't like that model, man. You still, everybody, you can't. You, you a J fan? Said, man, I love your music. I just didn't like this album. You can't be mad. No, actually, I, I mean, I, this. I agree with you. The silhouette overall, I thought this was the best colorway. I thought it did a. You I sound like, like you're talking about that Converse right now. <laughs> no, I'm saying like I this. I, 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 <laughs> I like the I like the quality. I, I like no, it. it's, right. it's unique. The quality, no, I. Uh, I guess what I was going to say was I've always said this that sometimes the colorway can make or break a shoe. This colorway made the shoe for me. So, I mean, out of everything you they said put you like out, the quality too. Hey, hey, say nothing about the quality because okay. the quality. Because I mean, this is part of about. this is part of that Hall of Fame pack. I mean, honestly, no, I'm not. No, the, the Jordan One High was still the best one out of that pack. Yes, yeah. I know. I agree with that. I mean, honestly, I think the Spizak might have been better well, than shut that. Shut the hell well. up! I'm yeah. just saying. I think yeah. a Spizak over that. Yeah. I uh, rock it with the laces hanging, everything like they some sixes. I mean, ain't nobody, <laughs> nobody's talking bad about Jason Maiden. It's like, hey, look, he he did something that was uh, remarkable. We got a chance to design. I'm just a saying, if you walk up to some parents and say, hey, your baby ugly. I mean, there's no way for them not to take that. You personal. can say, I don't like your kid in that outfit. Doesn't mean your kid is ugly. But you said the kid is ugly because you no, never no, talk about the outfit. I mean, the kid might be ugly in the outfit. Like, you don't like the you don't like the shoe at all. No, I don't like that shoe. Like, right, so you don't like the kid. I don't, I don't like that shoe, but I don't like him as a. Dinner. So you saying like Jason has an ugly baby? No, I don't like that silhouette. Right. There, you don't like that child. There You're is like, no, no, no. There is no sneaker designer. You like his other children, just that one child you think I is ugly. Don't like that child. Don't there is like no that. sneaker designer that has never not had a miss. Everybody's had a miss. No, I agree with you. Okay. I agree with you on that. Yeah. I'm this, just saying. This was his miss. Shout out to Who designs big baller brand stuff? <laughs> Should let Google tell probably Jason Mason too. <laughs> No, I uh probably Lavar. Lavar <laughs> probably didn't let nobody <laughs> touch. Well, we know the first shoe was just a hodgepodge of what was popular back then. To the I mean, point that where is he the could sneaker community now. That is the sneaker game now. 
So that's true. <laughs> uh, number three, we have the Reebok Answer Four Step Over. I mean, who didn't like these? Yeah, somehow, what? somehow it's hard. Let all of a sudden, now it's hard to get an answer. Oh, no you didn't pun get intended. Them? No pun intended. No, I ain't ready to get them. Oh, I, I knew you was looking forward to these too. I yeah, just I knew you had a chance. <laughs> like when did when did Answer Four has become this popular? Like that's what a sneaker game because they ran out of questions to be able to put out. Don't, don't don't give Reebok that idea again, man. Don't, they they will go back to it. Trust me. No, they no, they won't. They about to get, get pissed, actually no, they will. They about to get sold. They trying to up their value as much as they can. Yeah, nah, I'm just saying. Like I'm they, still pissed. They, I didn't get the black with the white at the bottom. That was only available through an eBay seller overseas. Like how did that one did not make the retail? But you can buy it everywhere else except for Reebok. It was a flip. It was a black at the top and a white at the bottom. Yeah, I thought this came out over here. Nah, it didn't, I I didn't come out over there. Nah, I, I could have sworn I seen uh, those. Nightwing got his from the eBay dude. <laughs> yes, they he got his it. early though. Huh? He got his early. That's the only person I seen. I stayed on. Must be that nice, night. huh, guys? What? What? <laughs> Buy some answers. Yeah. He's getting all your shit early. Oh, I mean, the only one that know get... about it is she. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, yeah that's the only one. But oh, okay. Then again, he's part of the crew. Thing. Okay, we're just gonna pick on the beautiful one on the show today. Um, so no, but going back to these Reebok answers. I remember a time when Reebok Answers didn't sell like this. That's every that was shoe. only a couple of years ago. That was I mean, but that's shoe. everything Reebok. That's every shoe. Yeah. Especially everything Reebok. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, I, lo- I mean, I like the Reebok Answers. Uh, uh, if I see these somewhere, I guess I get them. I wasn't like the red and white was the only ones I felt like I had to have. These are dope, too, though. I just didn't feel mm-hmm. like I had to have these. I mean, I I just think it's about time that they re-release this one. Or no, yeah. they actually well, released they it because they never released it. It came out like one. three or four years ago. I does, thank you. <laughs> it it like didn't, but it didn't feel like. But I think the problem is they didn't they didn't sell the story. Like now, it felt oh, like they, they really, the story. No, they, they went the over the top this year because I see so many people posting the step over and. But the no, that's they all did. they, they posted is the step over. They're they not did. even highlighting what they did. Because I'm not even game. sure they called him the step over like three years ago. They called him step over, bro. They they call, yeah. okay. they but I'm just saying, overs. like, now I see more people talking about what he did in the actual I game. Mean, it, it, that other you, than just the step over. That lets you know how how vast the sneaker community has grown since the three years ago. To where an answer came out normally with the normal amount of press. was um, But then come out with the same shoe again three years later. Same amount of press, but people react to it. Has more. it grown or did it just change? I think it's more reaction to his shoes now, like more interact. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I, I wish they would bring out the answer ones. Remember the uh, the blue patent leather, blue oh, yeah. patent leather joints. Yeah, Amar, uh, my, my son, he got a pair. See, I mean, but that would be that would be a silhouette that I think they probably feel like wouldn't do as well. But they brought that shoe out. No. They brought out the white. No, black, they got a whole white ass. They, 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 they got a whole ugly ass Nerf pack coming out. They had that you ugly don't ass like dress. Nerf pack? No. They had the Jurassic Park shoe that came out oh, a couple like, weeks ago. I like the pumps and let's, the Nerf pack. Let's all remember the Candyland pack. But they, but Gene, they dropped that uh, them Aronson ones four years ago. They did the red and patent leather. They did the white and red ones. They did the black one, and they did like a black and, well, red. and uh, They brought they brought it out. No, yeah, they did but, all those shoes, and they all had an extended size run except the one pair that I wanted, the white, red, and gold. Mm-hmm. They only went up to size 14, you jackasses. So I don't even understand. And then you made your phone call, and then they sent them to you? No. Yeah, uh, yeah. No. No, I did get the comment. What was it? The Shaq Gnosis? Is Shaq, that what I got? Shaq, Shaq came and dropped them off to you. <laughs> I only like, like two. Papa John's I only like two Reebok Shacks. The first ones, please. And I hope one, you do that. His ones, his first year in L.A. I like those two. Those only two Shacks. I love I like. the Shaq attacks. The Shaq attacks and the Shaq Gnosis. I no, can get Shaq attacks and then the other one. That's a big ass shoe, man. It is was, yeah. the Shaq attacks. That's big ass bulky shoe. shoe. But anyway, I don't know. What I'm just saying with these is like, I think Answer 4 sell well just because of the aesthetics, because of the look of it. Oh, no, it's real clean. And that's, real I super, think that's the, the main reason why it's selling. Now, they did try to, now, Reebok did one try to, main Reebok tried, look, in, in typical Reebok fashion, they did try to fuck it up because they had that one with the flames on it. Oh, that Hot Wheels one? Yeah. It's like, what are y'all yeah. doing? I mean, the, Dwight been, loves this shit. Like, I, if it's ugly, Dwight loves it. I can't even blame Reebok. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even blame Reebok because every brand do it. Every time it's time to retro a shoe, they mess it up with one colorway. I'm just I mean, saying. every shoe. That that every Wheels single one. time I say it's trash, Dwight's like, I like those. Like, every- <laughs> the Hot Wheels would have been straight if it was a kids only. Huh? You know, that would have been straight if it was kids only. It, yeah, I agree. But, you know, when you try to do stuff what in men's sizes. What grown-ass individual is wearing these shoes? They put the candy lands out in men's sizes. I should have been a woman's shoe or just people with no eyes. Um, number two, we have the Nike Kyrie 7. 
Kaidi, which I think is the dumbest name. It should have just been the weatherman. Like this whole Kevin well, Durant and Kyrie trying to play off each other's name shit. They're trying to be the next slam dunk. But that's really what it and is. They're, and they're failing at it. Yeah, Miserable. they are. They are. They're this, really shit. This shoe was not Horrible. bad in person. It's really good. Yeah, I like it. That shoe, I know what I'm saying. Like, that shoe was dope. I don't know if it was dope. Do I have a Kyrie 7? No. 130? So, yeah. And that it, shoe was no, dope that's the, You had every reason to buy this shoe. It's 130, and it actually looks dope. So, yeah. I disagree, but that's just me. Well, okay. What don't you, what don't you like about this shoe? The colorway, for the most part. You don't like, like green? No. Do you know that it's green? Yeah, but it's still... It's just I could never rock that. Mm, okay. What was it a trick question? It's not green or something. No, it's green. Oh. Uh, it's green. I'm, I'm just, I'm I just don't like the sneaker. I'm saying this colorway is just not for me. I would never you wear that. It looks like. Well. Understand. You like, be, I guess you. If you do were you use your element to undermine your opinion? You kind of carry over there. Huh? If you were a fan of the KD4 weatherman, you would be automatically be a fan. Oh, automatically. Of but I think this look better than the KD4. Ooh, I'm not oh. going there. I'm saying oh. it. You you going a little too I'm far. Saying oh, oh, you must have oh, had too much eight oh, mile vodka, man. I see. Yeah, you I going see. I'm oh, saying it. The bottle's still full. Oh, whoa, whoa, I think that looks like someone vomited. Yeah. 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 It's still full. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. might yeah. look yeah. like you yeah. might took a shot. I said it. You might took a shot. I said it. Let me say it again. It looks better than the KD4. Should pour up. No, my goodness. I said it. 300th episode. We should. Ain't no shame in my game. I, I said oh, what I said. Oh, my goodness. You said that. I you said it with my chest. Better. Those you look better than KD4. I so why don't you pen. own a pair? Uh, what, these? Yeah. I, do, I did buy them. They, could, they in the mail now. You sure you actually bought them? Yes, I bought them. Fuck you. I bought them, you <laughs> asshole. Now, I will say what I will uh, do. Now, you wear these. I'm calling you a meteorologist. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to wear these. <laughs> Fuck you. Look, so you can see I, the whole seven day forecast. What I do, man. What yeah. I, <laughs> 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 Them are the size 15. <laughs> Weather Channel 7. That should be called. <laughs> that should be called Tropical Decompression Heel Tap with, <laughs> with a cool front tongue. I want to be mad, but this shit is funny. Look, so, <laughs> I, <laughs> so with, about this shoe, though. The only thing I would change, and I will do it when I get them, is change the laces. I think they would look better with black laces. No. Yes. No. We'll see. Watch. If you could get that light green color that's on the uh, the, the front side paneling right there. No. Nah. That would look good in there. I'm or good. if you threw, uh, like, yellow. Because it's you know, I, you know why I say that? Because there's so much going on that I think it's it needs enough a, black in the I shoe. think it needs enough. No, because I think if you add the more black, it'll pop more. And I think because you got so much chaos going on as far as the weather pattern and all that other shit, I well, think it was. But it, that, it that's it's on the heel. It's only on, on the, the back and on the bottom of the shoe, though. No, no, no. The weather pattern is on the heel, but I'm talking about even if you look at the rest of the upper, it has like this psychedelic print to it. That's because that's Kyrie. That's, uh, I don't I'm just saying. He crazy. Oh, hey. Your crazy is another man's genius. I don't know. They probably just come saying. with a sage stick as well. Uh, <laughs> no, and Phil Kyrie. Jackson is buying up with yeah. the sage sticks. No, nah, you uh, tripping if you said it doing better than that than that. Like I said it. You want me to say it again? <laughs> nah, you tripping. Hey, 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 look, look, see, look, look at Dwight. Dwight even know you tripping. Dwight right? like every pair of Yeezys that come out. I don't trust his judgment. I'm still trying to figure I, out <laughs> if this is the top five or the worst five. <laughs> Man, well, okay, so I know what shoe you like. You know, I know you bought them, and you know, congratulations to you. You got the dunks, right? Yes. They didn't make this list because I thought they were oh, basic. Okay, but okay. Uh, what is number one, and I'm, I'm mad about this shoe, is the women's Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Core Purple. Now, I've got some things to say about that. That's this. how we know ahead. C's put this list together. Um, I feel like there was a lot of anticipation, or like a lot of people were like, okay, it's kind of like as close as we'll get to one of the OGs. Yeah. And then it came out, and everyone's hating on it from what I see. They I hate on them? I, I see a lot of people on Twitter are disappointed with them. Was the leather quality or <laughs> just the overall um, final product? I got, I got, we got to start. That you gotta start pulling cards because if you just got into sneakers three years ago, you can't be mad at a release if you wasn't around for the first one or even the first retro. I was gonna say, well, the second retro. That, that's what I was gonna like, say. What, what you, do they have a problem with this? Bro, because you I mean, that's, with, you that's got a problem with this shoe when you start to, buying one. That's right? what I'm trying to figure right. out. Like, that's why, like, <laughs> I don't mind I can them. Think I just feel like there was a lot of hype and build up, and now today on Twitter, I saw people upset, prices are pretty bad. I just don't think. But they're what doing is as their well. beef, though? I guess because like only thing I could think of without having a shoe in the hand, only thing I could think that they sounds reasonable is shitty leather quality. I haven't seen them. Because, huh? It, it wasn't. 
So that's what I'm saying. Like it's a dope shoe. You can see in a picture like that. that Those bitches clean. So I'm trying to figure out what's the beef. Did they have extended sizing? Because it's women's, isn't it? No, no, no. It's not that men's and a half. So maybe that's why. I don't know. No, that that would be my complaint. I was going to say, if I had a complaint about the shoes, the fact that they didn't do an extended size run. This is an original colorway. Why Jordan Brand decided to make this a women's exclusive is beyond me. Um... I just don't understand it. They be doing some of the most ass backwards decision making I've ever. And then watching a year or two. Yeah, you, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 They gonna drop dro- it in the full family and. Yeah. They were a full family. No, I mean they gonna redrop no, the fuck it. They weren't like. <laughs> I was My family ain't get a pair. But no. <laughs> Bro, they, they was I, at <laughs> men. You could have got your daughter a pair. Yeah, yeah. she didn't even in my family. So it was not a full family. I wish I could get her the shoes. But no, like she likes like the weird mismatch stuff, like the Kyrie fours that came out like years ago. Like the what the fives. Did she like the candy land pack? Oh, even she got taste. Uh, <laughs> she is loud. Uh, Damn, but, like, talk about your kids. No, I'm just saying no, she's no, 11. saying something good, but I'm like, man, Reebok definitely ain't about to send him nothing else now. No, nah, she's 11. I'm like, 11 year old is like, ooh, dude, who thought of that shit? Um, but no, go back to these shoes, though. Like, I don't understand why Jordan Brand made these women's exclusive. I, and then, you know, they made the leather tongue and all that other shit, all right? Like, just give us what we want, man. Like, I don't understand why y'all go through such hoops. I think we talked this about a couple shows ago. They got the Taxi 12s that aren't the Taxi 12s. Royalty 12s. Get yeah, it right. it's just like, why you just can't give us what They gave you Royalty 12s. They gave you Wing 12s. It was another 12 they gave y'all, too. That Obsidian. No, no, it was just like a taxi. What was it? It was a Royal 12, wasn't it? A Chinese New Year 12. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they, oh, they literally okay, okay, went okay. around the taxi colorway <laughs> to not give you the teleway. Man, it's just why, man. Mm-hmm. It's like it's almost like they want to piss off. The, I've never seen a company like Nike and Jordan Brand actively try to piss off their fan base. I don't get it. But, but they know. sell everything. so That's the thing. So they get away the with murder. Yeah, 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 exactly. It is what it is. I, you know, I can play until I'm blue in the face, but y'all going to keep buying it. So. And they're going to keep sending you that shit. <sighs> Ugliest release of the week. We have the New Balance. I'm guessing it's a two-way yellow and teal. This looked like some type of... I don't know if this... I initially thought this was some type of collaboration. I'm waiting for him to pull it up. Is that a Kawhi? They just, they just... No. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. That's the two-way. I thought that's a... That, that's the two-way, right? I haven't yeah, it's seen like that a, before. Like a, if Kawhi had a soldier. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, like, kind of like that. That's I'm what it's like, called, why? two-way. I thought initially... I thought I, I thought it, like, just looking at it, it looks like the same kind of, like, cut. As like the uh, the Kawhi Leonard New Balance. So initially, I was like, I thought this was a collaboration with uh, the Candy. Uh, Looks like Sour candy? Patch Kids. Yeah. Oh, but it Gushers, wasn't. the Gushers. Yeah, it wasn't though. And I'm just like, you know, not everything is a collaboration. Maybe they couldn't get the sample clear, so they dropped a mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what it looked like. That's why they put, on, that's why they put the colorway on the two-way yeah, instead of on the quad right. shoe. That's what happened, probably. But, man, it was like, look, I love you, New Balance. Y'all been killing it all this year. You know, like Gino not, said. Not every, in basketball. Oh, yeah, basketball category. Y'all could, y'all could, nah, I ain't going to front. That Jelly Rancher collab was nice. That was that decent. That was well executed. That was that decent. Was this, yeah, but I mean, but this is a poor follow-up. This, I mean, Gino said it earlier, you know, every designer got that, you know, that dud, and this would be one of them. You know, you know what New Balance did recently that's cool, though? Um, they did uh, another exclusive, I think it was the Genesis V3 or something with Kith, and uh, it was exclusive access to people who have bought their collaborations via email before. Yeah. So you can only buy it um, with that same email address. Yeah. Okay. And so, until it gets sold on Golden Stock X. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. my thing is, I'm about nice. to post like, mine. Yeah. See? People be like, oh, these are exclusive. Cool like, bro, it's 2021. Though. Every sneaker you want is on the internet. Somebody, can, you can walk by. True. You can have them shoes. Somebody can walk by. They, four people hop on, and about a week and a half, not five people got that shoe. So, hey, and if StockX and Goat don't have it, that's the beauty in eBay. So somebody's going to have it. Yeah, somebody's going to have it. Saw a way I saw a pair it. of uh, Deadstock uh, Pippin 2s in a size 18. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to make a bigger foot than you? <laughs> no, I was just like, Doc, that, I was more that, so mad. That's, that's what he was upset about. Now you know I how was, he felt. I was <laughs> more so. so I, was, I swear to God, this table wasn't nailed down. <laughs> Look, I was more so mad. I was more so mad that the fact that, like, okay, like, there's a death sock pair of 18s floating around, but I can't find a size 15 anywhere. No, anywhere. That, that had, that, you know, that had to be a player, a player exclusive that he just didn't, they didn't wear it. I don't know, man. It was For it sure. was it was frustrating. So now, well, who what, what, welcome to how we feel. Well, who right? was that big? To what wear shoes in my size that y'all can't find, in y'all size? 
I mean, exactly. What, what's University your, blue one. What's your, shoe, Nike what's, what's your exactly? <laughs> University blue one. Jubilee Elevens. Jubilee Elevens. Gift wrap by Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that white Reebok pump. I had so yeah. many questions, and I bought those. Jordan 2009s. I Probably bought those. Fame. And them bitches don't pump. <laughs> you re- no, you really upset. You no, yes. It's you like, no, come out. on, Reebok. You know how much Listen. air it would take to pump into that size of a shoe? You know how much air is going to be behind my fist? You keep talking. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> You need to capture it and put it in your did shoe. It, did, it, did it break or it just never functioned? No, properly? it never functioned. So there's no there's no airbags in the collar or anything. That's probably because of the size of the shoe. And they got the they got the nerve. They, no, it's all cosmetic. They got the nerve to actually have an air valve as if there's any air to release. But yours is yeah. a sample, so they had to get it out early. So uh, okay, maybe the funny. retail pair. Right, that is crazy. You got the Duh. valve on there. I so ha- I've had a pair of the the A Life tennis ball ones, and I'm pretty sure they they actually filled up. His is a, he's a sample, man. He's a sample. So oh, just the ones they just cheaping out on everybody else. So this might be. So that's crazy to wrap my mind around that. Like, if that's broken, that's one thing. But if it's literally just cosmetics no, it's, and it's has not, no functionality, it's not there. Yeah, that's, it's not. It's not at then all. Then even I'll say shame on Reebok because that's ridiculous. Yeah, because or really thing. is that shame on Adidas for cutting back to make Reebok look <laughs> exactly. This hey, but you're trying to sell them. You would think you would try to put your best foot forward if you're trying to get the it's max Adidas. money. Adidas has been terrible. sabotaging Reebok. I know. <laughs> Adidas, I know. Oh, have a right? Reebok, Lil Wayne. Hey, bro. You should just say Reebok. Is all of the hot boys combined? Uh, nah, nah, this went back we, when it took us how long to get Carter Five. So here's my problem, though. Like we 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 always talk about storytelling, right? And so this generation of kids, they're gonna buy this shoe and not know what made this shoe dope or great. Like yeah, the, the shoe looks dope, but this shoe was part of the reason they were able to compete with Nike back in the early '90s. That's why you had the Air Wars. I think the first time I saw the pump was when Dave Chappelle had them in the the Robin Hood Men in Tights movie. Yeah, I remember that, that. Was, that was a funny that was movie. The though. first time I Shout saw the Mill pump. Brooks. Yeah. But no, like, like so when they get this shoe, they're not, you know, the pump doesn't function because you ain't put the technology in there at all. So they don't get the, they don't get the hype about, you know, they don't get why we get excited about the shoe. But, but my thing is, is Reebok's not the first one to cut corners on the retro. No, I, I just feel like I have to say it every time <laughs> I see it. It's like, yo, the like, answers on Re- Reebok DMX answers, like the new ones. They don't have the DMX in they it. They don't have the oh, DMX cushion. And that was some of the best cushion, dude. That Facts. was some of the best cushions, Facts. man. And they cut corners on it. This go around like the Aaron's and ones that came out a year or two ago. And I gotta say, they got the nerve to put hexalite on the back of the hill. Guess what? This don't have hexalite. So yeah, Mm-mm. maybe they had to. They couldn't find like six South don't African you bees say it. <laughs> to make honey come I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be some bee related joke. They had to find that killer wasp. <laughs> hey, man. They're like, see, we couldn't find no beehives. They all had the Detroit Zoo. There's this thing, man. Dangerous species. So you got to find, you got to get this fire line. <laughs> I hate, I hate how impressed he is with himself right now. <laughs> oh, man. This is a good one. Sundays, man. I'm a little rested. Six days. Them Saturdays. I was <laughs> we need to go back to Saturdays and get a tire guru. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, but no, like, it, it's frustrating. Like, I, obviously, the shoe looks dope. I mean, you know. Classic early '90s shoe. I mean, actually, it made me not even want the shoe anymore. No, and I, uh, I did have to do a lace swap because it was too much. This white. would be like if LA Gears didn't light up, huh? This would be like if LA Gears. No, didn't light exactly. Up. It's still blowing my Imagine mind. Imagine if Air Maxes didn't have air in it. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like, yo, like what the fuck? Some of them. Well, <laughs> some of them. No. I got some Air Max Pluses, boy. Woo wee! It, feel, it is. It's frustrating. Like I got on. So, I'm gonna get you sucker platform. So. <laughs> but, but no, yeah. it is frustrating. I mean, you know, but I am happy that I remember. I remember growing up as a kid wanting this pair, and not being able to have them, so to finally have them full circle. And like I said, I did the black lace swap with them. I think it looks better. I just felt wow. like it was too man, much. We doing white. good, man. An hour through the top five, huh? An hour through the top five. We doing good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sundays are lit. <laughs> what are live chat? We got any comments we can throw up? Uh, we got some stuff for you. Wait, so it appears up here now. Yeah, yeah, they actually show up on the screen. We might have to get y'all binoculars or something. See, so okay. Some see. Damn, I can't see either. Uh, I guess I was the only one, huh? This what this, this comment what from Starburst? Trill Billy Brian oh, says, "Hey, what Trill Billy, what's going up, on man? Here? Hey, Talking shout out to them. The they got the own uh, in the clutch." Shout out to those guys. They do a lot of reviews and reactions oh, yeah, and whatnot. Okay, Ryan's reaction up, said, man. "Someone let their kid do their work assignment." Talking about the New Balance shoe. Someone let their kid do their work assignment. Okay. Hmm, okay. New, them new balances. 
Dog, yeah, they look like they come out. These look like a McDonald's Happy Meal. Oh, Hold oh, up. oh Spearman, they're taking your idea. Hey, Spearman McDonald's Happy Meal, they got those Jordan 1s coming out next week. They had exclu- uh, early access. It's like red and pink, kind of. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like fuchsia and yellow. Is that just me or is it a McDonald's vibe? Nah. I mean, the, the red I thought is... more Hulk Hogan-ish. Yeah. The yellow well, that's what was I, I should have wore the tank top. I'm just saying, like, ugh, those shoes are ugly. Ugh, take them down. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of those ones at I, all. I had the exclusive access, so I got them, and hmm. I don't have them in hand yet. But I was like, this kind of reminds me of Ronald McDonald. Y'all talk about me getting shoes early. This dude got a whole shoe. I mean, you gave him the login, so. Right. Oh, right. Anyway, but, we, but, we do have a voicemail. But we can't get a Mitchell and Ness jersey. I don't, see, you know what? I was working <laughs> on it, but guess who ain't getting one, though? Talking. Guru's still not getting one, huh? Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my Keyshawn Johnson jersey. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hey, run that back. Yeah, I don't know why that just started. Oh, it's playing right now? Yeah, yeah it just playing. started. Oh, yeah, run <laughs> that back. Know what happened, yeah, yeah, run that back. All right, so yeah, here's the voicemail. So I forgot who said it on it was about two shows ago, but about Nike not having any um, <clears throat> any like basketball shoes that you can actually play basketball in. So I asked you if anybody knows what happened to the hyper dunk line or even remember the shoes what was the shoes J. Mike Green played in the hyper rim why don't we get those anymore like why did they stop those two lines or even doing the Harachis every year those were some solid basketball shoes I had to literally go on eBay to find some old hyper dunks just to play basketball in that gym I play in and really and I forgot who else had it it was the last episode um, yeah, like Nike has just gotten really lazy and really redundant. I mean, because they Chicago everything, they alternate and reverse every retro to death. Like, I can almost guarantee you that because they're so lazy, we get a Carmine 7. I mean, because they put the hairstyle on six rings, they put them on sixes. Why not? Why not do that if we're just going to be completely lazy? Um... And I think, see, when you were talking about the um, Nike rep that said that Motown is uh, is local, which, I mean, obviously it isn't. Um, I guess all y'all can answer this. What Detroit story would y'all tell on, on one of them joints? Um, I don't know why it came to mind, but I would love to see, like, an Eastern Market 7. I'm just, I'm just throwing out a retro, a, 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 a retro door, of course. But what Detroit story would y'all tell if y'all could? Because clearly Motown is local. But anyway, you know, love the show. Um, you know, I'm excited about the 300 show. Hopefully, y'all do something special, like, you know, Steve may throw in one a special throwback, or y'all may throw in y'all best uh, retros or Yeezy or whatever. But, again, great show, man. I appreciate y'all listening to my voice, man. No problem. Um, okay, I guess the first thing to address is Nike basketball. Um, I the didn't, know, I didn't doing know if shoes were good basketball shoes. What? Yeah, Har- 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 there was a running line and there was well, a basketball I know that, line but too. I, I, I don't know people who come like that. I didn't, I didn't yeah, the Harachi right. flights, yes. Yeah. But no, um, yeah, you probably think about the lows, the low top Harachis. Yeah. But Nike basketball, the category has been failing for a while. Basketball across the board, I know as sneakerheads, you know, we see the LeBrons, we see the Jordans, we see the Kobe's that we like and, and the Kyrie's, but basketball – the category as a whole has been suffering for a while now, so uh, it is no surprise to me that they are cutting certain lines. Um, you know, I I don't know why specifically they cut the hyper rev or the hyper dunks, uh, but I, chances are it has something to do with that. But I feel like they were to be they were using the hyper revs and the hyper dunks as a test run before they gave people their own shoe. James Harden. Had a hyper dunk uh, and a hyper rev. Uh, Kyrie Irving had a hyper dunk. Uh, Kobe had a hyper dunk. That was in between him having an issue. Uh, yeah. They made LeBron rock one one summer a hyper dunk. So they was using that to perpetuate, like, uh, okay, if you can sell this, then we can give you your own shoe. Yeah. So that they were doing that, and along with like tier two people like Lamar Odom and other people, Andre Iguodala had a hyper rev PE. So <clears throat> Richard Jefferson too, but I'm not sure why they stopped it. But because basketball is still popular, you got AAU teams and kids, more and more teams now. You have the customer base and you have 
the amount of attention that you need to sell Nike basketball product, you just don't put your best foot forward. Kids are hooping in all whites. Not yeah, some of it's for hype, but it's like, well, the shoe I'm gonna hoop in. Like, and the Kobe's are hard to find, so it's like Karen can't keep buying three hundred, three hundred feet out Kobe's every six months for basketball. So it's just like, it's not like you don't like it's a like it's baseball, right? Yep. The popularity is drowning. It's like nobody's really into it. Like you you don't have that, so that's just on them. Yeah, why not playing or something? No, I, I I think they more so just streamline their basketball <laughs> category because now there is nothing but Kobe, LeBron, KD, Kyrie, PG. Like that's it. Like that's all you have to choose from. And PG like, does it, uh, man. Yeah, but I mean Paul George is Please at least get rid of that. in the stores because you got kids that actually that the kids that do who that's yeah. the shoe that they come in and get. No, keep making the shoe. Just so don't that, go but on PGs. That, but that's what I'm. Well, that's what I'm saying is there's no need to actually, <laughs> you know, continue to hyper dunk or hyper rev. I think the Cosmic Unities kind of took that hyper rev and a little bit because I love the Cosmic Unity. The Cosmic Unity actually kind of looks like a hyper rev. <laughs> yeah, just a little yeah. bit better. It's hyper revish. Yeah. But I mean, I just I feel like they just streamlined and said instead of having so many different options, here are the options that we're going to provide. Because even like with the Kobe's, they got the uh, they had the Mamba line, the Mamba mentality line, which I mean, it's essentially it's like the Kobe soldier. Light, yeah. yeah, it's like a soldier. Now they yeah. got LeBron soldiers. They got KD Trey five. So yeah, you no, know. no, I I. But then get to his next question. I, he brought up the Motown thing, which still just burns me up inside every time I think about it. But. Uh, what do you ask if we had to think of another Detroit shoe? I would do something for Hart Plaza. You know, uh, the music festival uh, dem for the cult movement now? Yeah. Maybe put you some like. A summer Jam shoe? Yeah. You know, I would um, do something like a, like a big three pack. You know, like, you know, we know him for being the Motor City. So I would like, I would base like, like an Air Force One high pack. What I, three shoes you pick? What three shoes? No, I was saying I would take like a, the Air Force One high and base it on like uh, the, the sports car of each brand. You got like the Corvette, you got the the Mustang, and then you got uh, like the Hellcat or something with us, uh, Chrysler, and like base it on those three shoes, have the emblem on the heel. Um, you know, there's ways to do it, like you know, what I'm saying like to to kind of tell the Detroit story. Um, you know, black bottom. If I really want to get deep, uh, there's a number of things I could pull from. Mm -hmm. As far as the Detroit story, uh, shit, Verner's, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, they it's been done. done. They I mean, it's already. been done, but, you know, I mean, you can still do it. I mean, shit. They it, did a Verner shoe? New Balance. New Balance. Uh, like uh, Nike, didn't, rubber. Yeah. Nike didn't threw Chicago theme on every fucking shoe they can think of imaginable. So, I mean, I think I, mean, I, you know, I, mean, I can do a Verner's color if I want like to. like a Michael Jordan here. That's one thing I feel like we Verner's really is the Michael Jordan from in this city is not having like a transcendent start. I would do a Fago pack. Yeah, I did the shirt. Like Hirachi low, of, cool, like uh, the, the Hirachis and do like every colorway, every flavor. What were you about what, to say? Well, I was going to say, wasn't it the brand that, wasn't it the shoe company that did something Fago wise? They didn't do a good job. Yeah. No, I mean, if we can't remember, then they didn't. Total disrespect. If we can't remember, we didn't, it wasn't memorable. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, if, I guess if I was to do something, it would, <laughs> it would probably maybe be something more along the lines of a. Uh, Send your the, complaints to HR. The jazz scene. That we have, like with Cliff Bells, yep. yep. Bakers, um, you know, something along those lines. Because I just feel like, yeah, there's there's other stories we could tell. Dude, in there's so many Detroit stories that are not, not being told. You know, the art scene. You know, I pull from that. Uh, man, there's so many different things, man. Like I, I just. I want to tell mine, but I don't want to tell mine. Well, you, it's a, C's probably not already tapped you for it anyway, uh, so it's don't. probably already in production. We already know they listen, and they already and, know. Listen, this I, ain't the first I idea. It's so crazy because I already, like, did a mock-up on my computer and everything. Like, See, now you're telling too much. Now C, C's going to go and get your files. Value's going up. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of foreshadowing because it was actually, I did this about two years ago, and it's a dunk model. It's uh -oh. a what? It's a dunk model. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. So... But I guess that would be my my thing. Wouldn't wouldn't you feel like it would have to be an Air Force One? Just because of how, because it could be exchanged. It could be hey, here's a Detroit story to the rest of the world. Detroit here's a shoe that the rest of the world likes. Like kind of. But I, I hate the fact that everybody like, I hate the fact when people say local because to me that's what makes the the shit dope. Like when they when Nike SB was doing the uh, the collaborations real heavy with the skate shops, they were doing themes that was local to them but on a mass scale and i thought that was dope because that's you know to get those regional stories mm -hmm. you know because you know like some of the shit i would I, first of all i didn't know 
mm-hmm. and we don't hit we don't get those stories in Detroit. So like when um, the the shop in Tampa, they did it on uh, the Gasparilla. Mm-hmm. You know those dogs. Oh, the pirate highs. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Like to get these different. I think Sean Cliver was involved in that too. The guy behind Strange Love. Yeah, even the uh, the pr- well, can we say Prince? Well, we could say it. we not Nike. The Prince Dunk Loves that are coming out. That's a local story, but it's still dope. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't matter how local it is. Like if the story is dope, it's dope. I yeah. mean, well, I mean, Premier did a pair of fish ladders, and when they came out, no yeah. one knew what the fuck it was about, and they flopped. And of course, now Dunks and Premier are huge, and the Batowski. Like, that's. You know, that was a dope one, and they had some limited dope. ones. Uh, I think if you bought it in store, it actually had the letter P embroidered on the heel. Yeah, which is I got that pair. So <laughs> I don't even know why you drove, you drove all the way up there. Or they I don't even know why they hand that delivered up it voluntarily, to you. huh? They hand delivered it to you. Dunks you drove all the way up get. there when Premier dropped actually, that, that was not like the most difficult release. Actually, in the interest of full disclosure, Premier did look out for me on that pair. We was early on. We was like in the infancy. Like we were still in the jump man's basement when they did that. Um, Damn. So you went from Premier Skate Shop to Nike corporate offices. Damn, I can't say nothing because we technically the Guru was there too. So you got to. Hey man, you he was an office why, there why too. Why you think he got that Portland stuff? He on. was there too though. <laughs> See, so he, he already <laughs> repped it. Hey man, I gotta do a better job of my jersey selection. <laughs> hey, hey, we he got, got the Portland. He got. Portland hey, I'm here. back. And he got the Oregon, the Sorry, Oregon you know, edges. The yeah. Oh, listen, I can't even argue because it's all facts. But, but no. But but what you were what you were saying about how they said something was too local? Yes. What pisses me off with that comment is the fact of, and this is not shitting on uh, Dave's quality meats, but you let a guy design a shoe, and it was supposed to be like bacon. Like that's one of I, the best Air Maxes ever. Like, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like so, but how how are you gonna say that a story is too local of a story to be able to tell? Right, y'all did a collab with a local shoe store, or owner of a local shoe store. Like people are here in Detroit, or I'm pretty sure anywhere outside of New York had never heard of the store, or weren't thinking of the store. Y'all still gave that man a chance to do a collaboration, and it turns out to be one of the best collabs ever. I would do so. It. I, to, I ain't gonna say my dunk one, but I would say this one. Another one, what I would do is like a mix and bow Air Max 97. Because our freeways, you know, no yeah. mixing bowl and yep. like to have like 96 and 94 going around. I'm like, that would be dope. I mean, I, I, if I had more time to think, I'm pretty sure I can think of more stories too. The thing is, there are stories to be told. And I think people need to stop looking at sneakers as being, I look at sneakers as more of the canvas, right? And mm-hmm. so, like, so with that being said, I would look to find a silhouette that could help me express that story. In great detail, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can tell that story. This is what makes the Dorm Record Collection so dope because they are able to take a silhouette and add themes and design features to tell their story. So it's not just the Jordan 14, it's, you know, that kid's Jordan 14 or whatever the shoe is in that pack. And I think that's the way people should look at collaboration instead of just saying, okay, branding. You know, like we had my man's here, like, shout out to him. I was happy for him when they got the opportunity, but I'm like, you're just gonna throw your brand on the shoe and call it a day. It's not a collaboration to me, and I'm not trying to be harsh, but like I'm just being consistent in my judgment. So, speaking of consistent in their judgment, there's a number of things I want to get to, and I hope the community, whoever's watching, I hope they got something to say about this too. So, first thing I want to get into, because I think this is absolutely hilarious, and the irony of this whole situation does not elude me. But we got so cool, Kai, one of my favorite fake Air Jordan distributors ever. Uh, hey, we got the Kobe thing up though. Well, oh. Okay, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that second. We, we'll start small and go big. So we got the cool car situation. Uh, some guy, Ami in a Hellcat. I've mm-hmm. never heard of him. I mean, I don't know what he does. It's no knock on him. I just don't. i never heard of him before today. Long story short, he at some point somehow worked out of or with the same factory as Cool Kai. That's what we know. Okay. Yeah, that, I, I heard that's, that's, say, yeah, that's, that's basically the that's yeah. facts. Yeah. They had some type of falling out where I guess... He wanted to collab, and yeah. Cool Kai supposedly, according to Ami, was being arrogant. Yeah. Uh, well, and I think he way, also it, tried to. And the dude got offended. I thought he also got whatever thing he whatever thing he had going on. He got the warehouse to stop producing it. Yep. So well, I mean, but it, that, that's, uh, this is all according to Ami. Yeah, so you that's know, what I was say. that's yeah, one side. I haven't story. seen Kai's response to any of this. You know, in the interest of fairness. So, I don't know what Kai, you know, because there's two sides to a story. Yeah, that, so, you know. That Omni video I saw, he said he called Kai. And when I sent us in the chat, he called Kai. I was like, yeah, you know, they're going to have to open a bigger factory. 
because when I start making my shoes there, I'm about to outsell yours and boom, boom, boom. And he allegedly said, Kai allegedly said, I don't got no problem, do your thing, man. And then he said, Kai allegedly called the factory and was like, yo, chill on dog, whatever, his production. And he said he had to place a million dollar order, allegedly, yeah. behind Kai's back with the factory to continue his shoes, man. And I'm thinking to myself, if it was really, a, if it wasn't about that, they would have they would have told him they actually use y'all against each other to make more money because it was if Kai said don't make the shoes, it'll be net. Right. But if it had a dollar sign attached to it, you should have saw the okie doke from the factory. Like, hold on, he told y'all don't make the shoes, but if I pay if I pay four hundred times what I'm already paying for the shoe, you'll make it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of a hostage situation. There. There. Yeah, then it ain't about the phone yeah. call. You know, so no, I agree with you. Now, see, my so my whole. I can't talk about this without smiling because this whole thing is so dumb to me because basically it's just a battle of the knockoffs, to be honest. You know? It's ironic, yeah. It's very ironic. But uh, so starting off, let's, so because we only have Ami's point of views, we're going to just debate or discuss that. So he says that, okay, he says that, you know, they, uh, Kai went behind his back and told, uh, and told the manufacturer they couldn't, you know, make his shoe or whatever. Well, the reason that's funny to me is because when I had these conversations with people, they talk about how Kai is a su- successful young black man, which he is, right? Nobody's saying that he's not. But when I'm talking about sneakers, right, I keep it consistent. Mm-hmm. I talk about Nike when they steal somebody's designs. I've talked about Bape when they stole somebody's designs. I am being consistent in my criticism when I talk about Kai. Mm-hmm. He does not get a pass because he's black. I'm sorry. Now, hear me out, though. Kai uses a lightning bolt, right? Yes. Like, we get it to Jordan 1, but he made a small change. I think the thing with Ami was he was going to use a lightning bolt as well, and then after a day or two, it's switch the same to, thing like, to a wave or something. It's the same uh, thing to me. I don't, not, not really when... This is where I feel like it's different, right? You took it and basically you baked the, the, the Jordan 1, right? Whatever. But when you're taking his alteration, if, if, if I... You made a Nike ID, right? And then I took your Nike ID exactly how it was, mm-hmm. and just switched out C's with Guru. You would have a problem with it. No. And cheaper. So okay. So once again, I mean, because Nike ID is something totally different than me. So let's let's just all be honest here. These are all Jordan One knockoffs. These, the selling point about this shoe is that it looks. 99% to what a nerd Jordan looked like, minus the logos. And let's be honest, the only reason you changed those because you didn't want to get sued. If you could have put the swoosh on there, he probably would have. But right? dunk, some of the dunk people feel like that about the Jordan 1. Okay, that's fine. But it's <laughs> made by the same company, though. So, I mean, if the same company wants to uh, plagiarize their own shoe, fine. Right? Bottom line is, the selling point about this shoe, and this is what was so funny to me. I think that in the last year, they were talking about the shoe of the year, and somebody posted, like, uh, the copy and paste of Jordan 1. As the shoe of year, shoe of year, because everybody's coming out there. I've seen Jordan ones with middle fingers, with guns, with you know all types of. There basically, was, there was one with a penis. Yeah, minus the oh boy, I that was minus the swoosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> went, How whoa. many pairs did you buy? Whoa. So whoa. Whoa. zero. <laughs> whoa, zero. Whoa, shoe wall full. Of, but no, so a shoe wall full of dicks. Sometimes <laughs> you can't slam. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you can't. You over here? No, I definitely don't get a slam <laughs> dunk. Oh, that's boy. You took a couple of rays. Listen, right? Complex ain't doing sh- they not doing sneaker shopping with you. Uh, they- <laughs> Listen. But, <go> ahead. <laughs> but <laughs> that, that definitely took a turn for the worse. <laughs> didn't, didn't know that that was going to go. You know me and Guru sitting at this table with you, bro. So, no. I, did, I didn't know that that would just kind of circle back. Yeah. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> We got to get the bell back. We do got to get the bell back. I would have just threw the bell. So, no. <laughs> Point is, the whole thing of it is, minus the brand. Like, if you literally replace the Thunderbolt with a Swoosh as an Air Jordan 1. So, let's quit acting like these people are doing anything creatively other than still in another silhouette and just throwing it on Brandon on it. This is what I always refer to, the Vanilla Ice thing because he literally took another song added one extra drum kick and tried to act well, like it was a whole different like, song puffy did the same thing yeah, we and, still and, and we haven't talked about that before we puffy still i've that, always did that take about away that. from puffy from being dope huh did it take away from puffy from being a good producer depends on your point of view if he stole your song i'm pretty sure you're not he talking paid about his dopeness for, I mean, he's paid for, I no like, he actually got sued a lot did he borrow heavily steal whatever you want to call it yes but they've been stealing from black people for years Brands been stealing from under like up and coming brands for years. So now that you get a taste of your own medicine, 
I don't have the I, listen, slightest. I say this for all it. the time. You can't go on the court and be on like, well, that person stole too. If you got caught stealing, that's not a no, defense. No, no, but if you robbed before and you come in to take somebody else's court because they stole from you, the judge will be like, uh, but this somebody. We're talking specifically about certain people. So if Nike has stole Cool Cos thing and he said, you know, what, I'm gonna steal but your shit. But Nike has stole other fine. people. They stole people from. But let like, some people handle that. We talking like still in the. Okay. Uh, we talk about the moral part. I'm not talking about the legal. No, no I'm, I'm, listen, the, I'm, I'm just talking. This is why I'm being consistent because I'm saying, okay, you stole, you wrong. You stole, you wrong. I'm not sitting there saying, okay, you stole, you wrong. But I'm gonna give you a pass. Like no, no, type no, of shit no, is no. that? What I'm saying is. You keep saying y'all stealing is obvious. This is what it I'm is. I'm just saying, stealing is stealing to me. So, yeah. like I said, if I see it, I call it, I see it, right? Bottom line is, I find the, this is what makes this whole thing ironic. You stole a Jordan Silver one, you plagiarized the Jordan one, and so now somebody's stealing your shit. I think it's absolutely hilarious. But he, here's the thing about it he didn't trip, though. No, I'm saying he's not tripping. I'm just saying, saying like, and I give him that. Like, he hasn't responded, and maybe he's taking the high road. I don't know. No, he put out the dodge, so he said, "I'm in the Hellcat." So now he's dropping a Kyle Low because he's been doing collaborations. No, I'm talking about from with, Kyle's point of view. Kyle yeah, has I'm talking about Kyle. Yeah. yeah, okay. So Kyle, Kyle said, Kyle I'm trademarked a, his yeah. designs. I don't know if they'll be upheld or respected, but, but yeah, he, he did does a, have some sort of intellectual. Um, Property protection in order, and we'll see how this plays out. I think, like I said, I think it's hilarious. So, but he has, he did a like he's been doing apparel for Dodge. Yeah. So now he's about to drop a Dodge, uh, Kai one low in response to his dog. Like you want to run your mouth? I'm just going to drop products, that, you know, just yeah. poke fun at you, and while making money at. So that's what he was doing. So he wasn't tripping like, oh, you try to be. It's like it is what it is, bro. No, I'm talking. To your point, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like the people who are supporters of either side. Because I hear these arguments all the time, and it's like, listen, at the end of the day, they both making knockoffs, and if one knockoff wants to steal the other knockoff, nobody's really right here. So this, will, this is what makes people, it funny I to me. I think why people like Kaz get traction is from, it's not because he knocked it off, which we would like, oh, it's the packaging and the, the presentation. quality that people like. That they wish they would have got. Oh so, God. I mean, so, are you really about to? He really about, about to go to, in? I'm just telling you what it is. I'm just telling you, bro. Bullshit. Nobody's buying it. it for the package, and they buy it because it's a Jordan uh, One. Look, you're looking you at it. You can buy it's... Jordan One. I'm telling you why they. That's the thing. They can't get Jordan One, so they got a better chance of getting Kyle because no, of pre-order. But check this out. You're looking at it. You get the Jordan One. Can you tell him? Yeah, now they are. But I'm saying when the what you're looking at it is the cool Kai and the Amis are equivalent knockoffs, right? Yes, but I think but I think some people. Are looking at Ami as a knockoff of Cool Kai, right? You know but saying? if you're knocking off and then somebody knocks you off, like I mean, shit, no, so I what? Agree. Like I mean, at this but, point, you know, I'm gonna give you a perfect. Ex- I'm gonna give you a perfect example, right? right. Biggie, Puffy, Sample, the Osley Brothers, right? For yes. uh, one more chance, right? Yeah. Or Fool there. Then Ashanti samples Biggie, mm-hmm. who samples. Yeah. So that's why we heard Ashanti like people like, dang, that's still the same one Puffy did, but. That's where people are saying, I'm mean, you, Ashanti. They're calling Kukai Biggie. Like, that's what it Ashanti is. To yeah. that. That, that's oh, well, what, yeah, that's basically what's yeah. going on. Right. So, right. I mean, my thing is, yes, it's a, both a copy, but you're literally copying his work. Kai changed the word here and there on the homework. I mean, he's literally copying your homework word for word. So, I mean, that's what I'm telling you. And you know what you get from me? Kanye shrug. I was going to say, but in the essence, you really don't care because you're looking at it like yeah. they both knockoffs. Honestly, like, I have no horse in this fight. Like, I mean, I get to sit back with popcorn and just watch them both kill each other off. Like, honestly, uh, I don't. I don't. I mean. Not I, literally, but I'm just but, saying. Like, right. The real question is, will Jeff Staple collab with Ami? <laughs> Well, we know what color that shoe was going to be, right? Like, we talk, listen, we talked about Warren Lotus and we didn't sit there and talk about what well, they did this. We was like, yo, Warren Lotus, y'all, you did what you did. And, you know, we left it at that. I feel the same exact way in this situation. But his, but my thing is, he used part of the swoosh to try to play it off. Right, like yeah, he was dumber like, with That's what he went. Yeah. He was that's dumb with the shit. It, but they still saying? killed him with the rest of the shoe because he tried to come up with another shoe and actually, and without the swoosh, and Nike got him on that too. So, the Reaper? Uh, whatever shoe he came out of Warren Lotus? Yeah. He modified it enough to the point where he can legally sell them. It's yeah, but initially when he yeah, tried to come out yeah. with a shoe, he's modified Nike it to the point too. where it looks nothing like he had originally said. But here's my okay, thing. But Nike, there you go. Nike nitpick because there's another shoe that had the, that the dice on it. Oh, uh, the That's Donnie, a dunk that looks with the shoe dice on yeah. it. And they can go after that. So it's just like, now nah, is it really about that? Or you just want to pick on who you hey, want to pick on? Those dice shoes are terrible, though. But And did not go after them. Yeah, the toe not, box is a little more squared too. Yeah, but it looks. So no, and I agree with you. Like, I don't know why Nike is, why they go after certain people and why they don't. I don't know. I know some of it has to do with the trademark because I know for a while they didn't have the trademark. This is why they, had, from what I gather about the Bape situation, is when Bape started doing it, they didn't have the trademark. 
for the Air Force One. But Bate brought it back out, so it's just like. They but they can though. Once they once they've established they've already that, done it. they've wanted done. It. So Nike is scared to go after Bate because they don't want to lose that battle and then they become a legal precedent. Because then at that point, everybody's gonna be coming out with their own Air Force One. So right now, so they can't go after Bape right now. But if somebody else was, because now I don't know if they got the patent now or what. I want to say they do. I want to say they do. I'm not sure. I mean, but my question is like. But even if you're somebody that's coming out of Air Force One now, you can still go back to the fact, hey, they didn't go out to Bape. Here's my thing. Because you still have to defend your legal trademark. How did you go get your Jordan 1 patent before your Air Force One patent? I don't know. That's 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 a good question. Your your compliance department needs to be. What year did the. Air Force, Force One was 82. Yeah, Air Force, Air Force, Force One came out You would think it would have been trademarked <laughs> in 82, right. but, you know, I, I don't know how that works. But I mean, but I guess the other part would be how much of the patent do they own? Like, do they own the full model of the shoe? Do they own, own kind of like where the ventilation is at on the toe box? I think they, they own it because the there, was no other, there was no other shoe like that. Remember, it was just Chucks and Converse really heavy back when they was doing that. Right, so, no, the, but I'm saying like in terms yes. of them owning, them, I'm saying in terms of them owning like the Air Force One and the Jordan One, like how much of the actual intellectual property of that shoe do they actually own? And you know what's so crazy is that you like you upset about the Jordan One and Lotus. It was like how many times every brand that made their own version of the Chuck? I was and, just saying, uh, and Congress, and Congress eventually sued them a couple years ago. They sued, sued a whole bunch of people. So yeah, I think that sued them a while. Uh, then they sued Airwalk. Yeah, they sued a bunch times. of people. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, I'm looking like Airwalk's well, not doing still, I still I see Payless Gucci Chucks. I yeah. still see no the Congress. Dior Chucks. No, the Chuck Taylor's probably the most copied sneaker in history. But <laughs> but they did. I think I remember Rick the story. Like Congress a, did a go nice after a number of people, huh? Where, where, I forgot what the model is. Those Rick Owens. They look like a, a nicer fucking Converse. Yeah, like I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, a Converse, the Chuck Taylor has to be the most copied sneaker in history. I mean, either that or the Air Force One, because it was that uh, at Walmart, they always had, like, the was the FUBU versions, the Shaq versions of the Air Force <laughs> Shaq One. Shaq had true blue threes and Nike didn't go up the dog. So, like, that's why I'm talking about. They're nitpicking. Like, if you be about it with everybody. But it was everybody. changed enough for them to, like, you know, obviously. Oh, nah, bro, I wouldn't hear that, bro. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm playing devil's advocate. One of those, man, his changes, they still went up the dog. So, it's just, like, who they want to go out. Like, it wasn't like a, like, it wasn't. The exact same silhouette with Shaq branding, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's the Bro, difference. You knew it was a true blue. No, we know what like they that. were going for. Trust me, I know. But I just, uh, you know, this Biggie and this Gorilla Black, you know what I'm saying? So I just, <laughs> you know, I so I <laughs> we got a lot of Gorilla Blacks out here, you know, copying each other, and it's like, yo, like, okay, like shout the Biggie and this fuck is, the rest of y'all. This like, is probably the so only like, show ever that's so gonna have a Gorilla uh, Black reference. Like, Let's hope so. Do, like, how? I'm mean, how can I put this? I'm pretty sure one of your top twenty favorite songs of all time might be might be a Biggie or, or a Puffy produced record. Most definitely. So my thing is, how is it that you can like he sample from somebody else, but if somebody likes a Kai shoe, you'd be like, ugh. Because he actually ended up paying for those samples, so there was a give and take. Those people actually benefited from him doing that. Like, also, if he paid Nike to use it, then you'd be okay with it. Yeah, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the whole thing. Like, that's what but I'm the saying. creativity like, still is there. Here's the he consistency. Here's the consistency. Mm-hmm. If somebody, if Kai came out with a shoe. And somebody ripped them off. I would be sitting over here talking about them the same exact way. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Obvious. I mean, this guy's literally just re-releasing and Kai's shoes, same colorway, yeah, that's same what that's no, there, there is no he he no he <laughs> legit is yeah he's the taking same listen, exact shoe. listen he's taking copying to another level. But at the yeah. end of the day, copying and copying. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, like okay, you copied ninety percent, he copied a hundred. You factory still copy. Wins. That's the bottom line. Huh? Oh, that one, factory wins. One like, oh, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I said. Yeah. That's why I let off. They, 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 they let they use once again. People are profiting off of black black people beefing. So that's exactly who went in. Because he was like, I'm going to make your shoe still, and I'm going to charge you 400 Well, he's saying he's going to make his shoe and make it cheaper. Like, so he's going to sell but it for like why, 150 why would you, My thing is, why would you make his shoe cheaper when they charge you more to produce it? Because that's yeah, bad that's business. Yeah, you that you, 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 you take it off. Because, okay, well, one, one, uh, here's a little nugget. Kai probably fucked his Kai is making a killing off of these shoes because they don't cost them that much to make that shit. But here's my thing. You're absolutely right. So say say hypothetically, crowd price is like 50 up here, right? Mm-hmm. If they charging Omni uh, 150 to 200 a pair to make, because remember he had to pay an extra to get it made, yeah. and then you're gonna sell it cheaper than what Kai is, where's the profit? Who's saying he's paying that much though? He just, know what I'm saying? He, sa- he just said think... he had to place a million dollar order 
way more than yeah, what Kanye like he has to make this order. But if he feels that order, then I mean he's making a yeah, killing. He might not be paying more per shoe. He might just be ordering. He has volume. to order so much in bulk. Mm -hmm. But if you sit on it, if you only sell thirty percent of it, that's still a L. Which could be why he's selling them for cheaper. Hey, well, cool. Yeah. Cool. Right. Let's, let's, all the I mean, hey, let's, let's be real. Let's be real about it. Because we live in a day and age where people don't care about having UAs. They don't care about having super perfects or fakes or anything like that. So, if you want a cool car shoe and you can get it for a hundred dollars less, what my man saying, Batman? We'll see how we'll see how loyal those dogs are when they're hungry. Yeah. Hey, so I'm like shit. Like, and then that that actually could go to his point when he talked about because you said people like the car shoes for the the presentation and. Everything like that. Clearly, clearly, dog not gonna give you that same that dust bag yeah, and everything that come with it. Yeah, Dude, are people really gonna care? That's nope. Right. Nah, nope. you know what? Because it's polarizing. Because nope. some people have been. I'm surprised at how many people are deciding. Listen, like, having a side instead of just saying it don't matter to me whether the shoe I get. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm like, uh, what's my man in Rocky like? <laughs> If he dies, he dies. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't care. Like you know right, what I'm so saying? Check like, this out, Guru. You would, you would probably never buy a fake Jordan, right? Oh, me not. He bought the cash. But would, well, that doesn't count. But I'm saying, would you buy? <laughs> but would you That's buy? Would you buy the <laughs> Ami pair if it's made in the same factory with the same materials by the nah. same workers? Because my thing is now you're doing it for clout. It's not. He went into it with intentional thing. I'm take my favorite shoe. Give it what I feel like we've been lacking, which is quality and presentation. Everybody, that's why I've problem. Yeah. That's what he's going into it like. I'm beefing with you, so I'm gonna make your same shoe and try to clown you for it. There's two different intentions going into making the product. No, I'll give you that. Yeah. So that's that's where it's like okay. I'll give you that. That's when we talk about the story behind the shoe. I, mean, I don't think people gonna care. I don't think people are gonna care. Yeah, I don't mind. Like my I shoe, think, I like it. It's dope. I like it. I think, it I think to an extent because I think like we talk about a hundred dollar difference. I, I, it's gonna be like, okay, do I want that bag and that presentation, or do I want that hundred dollars in my pocket and the shoe? Yeah, but then but that's, that's, a, way, but that's the same. You buy the car for the for that. But that's like, the same. But that's the same thing. You don't have no and options. Okay, like this. If that's the case, people will buy more Audi eights, a uh, the Q eights, than the Lamborghini the Urises. So Audi owns Lamborghini, oh, right? Oh, okay. okay so okay, the, the Audi Q8 is made on the same chassis and everything uh -huh. as the Lamborghini truck, right? The uh -huh. Urus. So, but people still buy this one more because of the Lamborghini in his name. Then it's like if you could really just buy the Audi Q8 and still get every almost everything. Wait, you but, get but if you can buy that same car, nobody it looks the same, has the same logos, but you don't know where it came from and if it's. You gonna buy that cheaper still, car? But people still buy the lemon. You think, remember when there was Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury? No, because and they you, were just putting you, out the same exact for, thing. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But branding is everything. Like he's well, Mercury's gone. He's not yeah. dropping a different shoe. Well, nobody's gonna see the box and all that other shit. Only you. You and your no, house. No, he is. He no, 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 no. I'm talking about we, the. Right, what if he? What if he's got the same box though? No, no, no. Listen, I'm talking about the people. The people that buy the shit, right? Like you're not gonna walk around the streets with the box on your arm while you're wearing the shoes. Are you? So when you walking around. They're going to see your shoes. They're going to think those but, are air cars. So that's so crazy, but people, a lot of people say they don't go to drop fronts because they want to keep their boxes. They love their boxes. Yeah. So, I mean, that is a notch in the sneaker game. People love their boxes. No, I'm not saying they love their boxes. What I'm saying is. You're talking about just branding. Yeah, like, because you yeah. brought up the difference of the cars, but there's a difference in branding. Uh, you Actually, it is a point because one of the reasons why you ain't buy one of the Nike shoes at the outlet because they charge the same price retail, but it came in a replacement box. So you do not care about boxes. Not buying it, though. Huh? I didn't end up buying it because I was like, is the box worth me not getting this shoe? At the end of the day, I'm not wearing the box. I'm wearing the shoe. So you paid 225 for Jordan 11 a replica box. No, no, I'm not paying for no replica box. The shoes, I don't know. I didn't pay full price for those. I was mad that I didn't have the box. If you had to pay full price for it, would you? If I had to pay full price, yeah, I wouldn't. No, because I want, so I want the exact the same thing. But <laughs> if I could get the same shoe. Got wait a minute. No, because if I get the same shoe for cheaper, that they say, okay, Rashawn, you can get this shoe full price but we can give you the same exact shoe in a different box for fifty dollars cheaper i'm going for the shoe that got but in a I different box here's i think here's a tipping point if dog was making shoes and been making shoes and he decided to do this but people might take a chance people have bought kai product and they know how it is yeah people haven't bought shoes from him before so they'll know what to expect true so that's like it's, it's no that's risk. an x factor i give you that i give you that i mean but that could be why he said he's gonna just take kai's shoe <laughs> and just put it back out a hundred dollars right. cheaper that's what right. I'm saying. Now, if it comes out, it's the same exact shoe, same exact brand. Oh, yeah, that first run. If it's same, if it's literally a. If I could put thing. his shoe and a car shoe next to each other, you and couldn't tell me the difference? And I said, this one is 150, this one is 250, which one would you rather have? Well, he's gonna I say guarantee Air, you people are going to say Air Omni, I think, but. 
No, he said it's the exact same thing, I think, right? Well, I guess no, maybe he can't say, say, can't say Kyle. At I first, it was a, the lightning thunderbolt thing, and then he just posted a picture earlier today, I think, and it looked more like more of a wave. Okay. I'll see if I, can I saw the thunderbolt, so that's all I saw. So. Yeah, I Which, see. again, like I said, I talked about just owning your, your trademarks. How much of that does Kai own? It'd be interesting to know. I don't know. Because I mean, you know, like, because you know, like with Nike, like the swoosh, it has to be like it's a certain symmetrical way the swoosh goes. For, yeah. You know, and they own like the different trademarks of the different ways it can be drawn out. Does he own different trademarks of how a uh, lightning bolt? It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to find out. Oh, he changed it now. He oh, did? Yeah. Oh, so remember he, he suck- put this right. That's some sucker shit, then. Right, and then now he this is what junk about. Now it look like this. Oh, that's some yeah, sucker shit. Yeah. That's what's up and shit. Like, why go through all that if you're going to do... That yeah, that's tra- what goes that, back that to look, clock. That look trash, too. Go back to so, I mean, and this is... That look real trash, though. Like, that actually made Kai shoot look look sweet. Cool. That was, like, hey, instead of a cool Kai, this cool, was like, ass, cool way. This, this, so this is a legitimate question to you, because we talked about Biggie and all this other like, stuff, right? Hey, but he's got a shirt that says, that's my shit now. Look, and but it's this. not, though. Here's, what, here's the thing, though. He did, a, he did this one, right? But in the comments, he says, dropping soon. If we start making sample, we... St- Soon we'll start making samples tomorrow. One fifty nine nine nine. If you tag any competitors, you will be deleted and blocked. So he you co- you co- you basically doing the same thing you accused Cool God doing. That's what I'm saying. That's some sucker shit. <laughs> that's that's like, some sucker shit. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I can't. Like, no, like, no, like, that's like, some sucker shit. Like, it's crop chasing. It's crop chasing. Yeah, I'm saying that's some sucker right? shit. Like, like, you went through all that. that. Went back to our people. Yeah. Like, but I will say this, because once again, consistency. If Gino had a brand, right, and then I come and say, okay. I like what Gino's got going on. I'm going to take Gino's product and just switch his branding with my own branding. You know what I'm saying? Gino's going to feel some type of way about that. You would, too, if it was your brand. And I asked somebody this the other day. If you was a music artist, right, if you're using music as an analogy, if you was a music artist, should I buy your album and support you, or should I buy it from a bootlegger as long as that bootlegger's black? We all bought bootleg albums. But I'm saying, though, but I'm asking you, if you was the artist, mm-hmm. would you rather be buy your album or buy that bootleg from the bootlegger? Uh, Given a choice. Album. Okay, then. So that's what I'm saying. Consistency. That's all I'm saying. If it was my brand and I had somebody swagger jacking my shit, I'm going to have a problem with that. Yeah. So I can't have a problem with it if it was my shit, but then champion somebody else. Can, can well, we, I want to see if he actually has these shoes made or samples actually come out. Because I feel like Cool Kai is going to at least attempt to halt it or go to court. No, or no, I mean, no, 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 no. He shouldn't. Think about it. If he's already made him change from a lightning bolt to a, a wave already, without even really, he, he's got no. Point. Without knowing Kai, and I, and I never talked to this man. I wouldn't know this man in a crowd of one. I will say this: he probably hit him with that season assist. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. He he probably got his legal because well, it's one thing to copy of Jordan because you know that's up in the air. But if his if he's trademarked his logo and his name. Oh, yeah, he come at you all day with that. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what I'm saying? He probably hit him with that legal work. Like, oh, okay, go ahead. Like, my lawyer's going to holler at you real quick. And that's probably when my man is backpedaling because it's all funny. Like, Instagram is one thing. You can't take you can't take likes on Instagram to court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, the other thing could be is, you know, whatever uh, manufacturer they go through, I mean, who knows? Maybe there could be a partnership that Kai has with them. So where they could even look at it and say, no, we're not going to do that because we don't want like to interrupt said, the partnership that we got going. What it comes down to me is, is knockoff versus knockoff. And at this point, I, I don't care. I just think it's funny. And I'm just going to sit back and watch and see. I just want to just, just see how it develops. Speaking of battles, we got this other one, man. Uh, shout out to MJ23 Dan too because me and him had a conversation earlier this week about this. And Nike just keep taking hits. But you got the Vanessa Bryant situation where – you at the Mamba Cita. Really, it's supposed to be the Mamba Cita, but they were calling her like Mamba Forever or whatever. Fine, whatever. We know what she was talking about, right? With the Kobe 6. Now, up until this week, I think everybody knew those shoes were coming out. Or at least we thought we were, right? We see the leaked photos and stuff. Well, and it's foot, funny because. Foot Patrol got them. Huh? Foot Patrol, I think, in yeah. London actually received. <laughs> they got inventory. Chris so here's Middleton, what's funny. Chris Middleton had a pair on in the game. Yeah, so here's what's funny. As I started thinking about this more and more, earlier in the year, they was like, okay, we got two more Kobe releases left, right? That would have been the Hall of Fame and the Del Sol colorways. Mm-hmm. So this would have been the third unknown colorway. So these started leaking around a couple Not weeks ago. The red Grinches. These leaked the. Wink. <laughs> I don't think I, 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 I think I think that was just a feed. But they uh, they started leaking photos of this shoe, 
Everybody was expecting these to come out. Vanessa Bryan had to find out via social media this way. And I, and here's the thing, man. There's, there's a number of things I want to address about this situation. One, I can see why she would be pissed off. As Kobe Bryant's wife, as the mother of Gigi, right? You got to find out this way. You made a shoe. You designed a shoe to pay tribute to your husband and to your daughter. You had to find out through social media that, one, the shoe was supposed to be coming out. Two, you didn't get a pair, but yet you see Chris Middleton and everybody else with pairs. Three, y'all already allegedly, according to her, had a discussion where this shoe wasn't going to come out. And the proceeds were supposed to go to the foundation. But here's the so other, I can understand why she's pissed off. But here's the thing, though. From reading her Instagram comments, this wasn't on how she envisioned it. It's missing the halo. It's mm-hmm. missing butterflies. Oh, that's even more really? reason. So that's what, that's what they was like. That's not the shoe. Everything I wanted, they told me no. So I'm like, well, scratch it then. If I can't have this on it, you still make the shoes. They pulled, and then go, so what go, they did was they, 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 did, they did what they do to you. Yeah. No, so basically what they did was they did what okay. they did to the penny. Like, okay, here's the penny. We let's design the penny one and then we're gonna on the side design this uh the penny pro or the phone positive pro. Mm-hmm. So she designed the shoe, they agreed up to release it, and it was like, hey, that looked kinda good. So let's change enough on there so it's not the exact design that she designed, but close enough. If they if that's true, that's even more fun. That yeah, makes it even she worse. Said. That's like it's, that's what's on there. So it's just like my thing is if you're gonna do that. Why'd you leave her name on there? <laughs> Why'd you leave number? So, the number so there's, another, there's a number of things that people need to take into consideration because reading the comments almost had me losing my fucking mind. And I, I, remember, I told uh, and she's I was, holding it down like Kobe would too. Yeah. I, so, I was, <laughs> so let me so let me say this. First of all, some of y'all in the comments are trash. Like I actually sat back and reading the comments, and I was like, you know what? Thanos is right. <laughs> like like half of y'all need Damn, to you go. Really to snap your fingers? Half of y'all need to go. Right. So that's one. All right, Bill Gates. So two, <laughs> two. No, half of Our his bank account about to go. <laughs> half of his, half of his net worth is about to go. That's that's what's about to go with him. But no. So Vanessa Brown, like to, what you said, that is Kobe's widow. I'm pretty sure out of anybody in this planet who knew what Kobe wanted, it was his wife. All this conjecture about, you know, she got all this money from Kobe and all this other stuff, as if she wasn't his wife. As if Kobe, look. I'm pretty sure Kobe knew what he was doing when he married her. He stayed married to her. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he left everything to her. And she been handling his business affairs. Like, how are y'all going to sit here without no knowledge, sitting up here shitting on her decision making? Well, she don't know what it takes. Oh, but you do? I don't think she ever asked for it. wasn't about money. Just make no. my shoes more accessible. What is she? Thank and you. Give, my, give Kobe daughter a pair for them to wear. Like, she asked. What, like, thank you. She asked. She asked for more pairs for people in the community to have. She asked for them to make a kids line. She asked for a lifetime deal for her husband. Those are the things she asked for. She asked for nothing. reasonable things. Re- things that you some thank her you. son, her her husband. What I don't is know is the most worn basketball shoe in the NBA. I, listen, I, I, so that that makes more. You know how we always talk about you know well, who are the people that are making the decisions? Yeah. Who the who the hell are the people that are making even the higher up decisions? That can't yeah, see. So this goes into. That can't okay. see to make the decision to be able to just acquiesce to her her request. Yeah, and so we know that she was going to come out because to what Dunk said earlier, Foot Patrol had an inventory. They accidentally sent a pair to somebody who had made an order for another pair of Kobe's, right? And they sent yeah, them the, the wrong. Yeah, Del Souls or whatever yeah. they were. So we know Nike um, made plans to sell this shoe. But mm-hmm. now, because of these circumstances, whether we like it or not, of course, the prices have beyond skyrocketed of course i'm not surprised um, and foot patrol is in a position where they sent out an email and contacted everyone and said we're sorry you know we'll give you your money back if you return them no one's going to do that no, no hell I, no 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 yeah, they, they, they got to eat that loss no that loss yeah, is, yeah, it's, yeah. That's, that's gone that's a, i mean that's a black eye on them but it, it, it's one of those situations but, oh, are they in the wrong for, no for not he's on the wrong. no foot patrol i mean foot yeah, patrol made an honest wrong. to god mistake yeah, yeah they made a, that was a mistake they like, made an honest mistake but i mean they're going to be they're going to be the ones that are going to get uh, casted some blame. They just shouldn't. Because they shouldn't, but just because of the situation, yeah, their uh, name is going to get brought those up. Those people would be But dumb. my thing is, how do you ship out numerous pairs of the wrong shoes? We worked in stores. No, right? I don't well, think they sent out numerous. I thought it was just one. No, I think it was a couple of them. Well, it, was a, it was a few of them. It was a couple of them. I mean, shit happens. It know? was enough I, to the point where they were trying to take sales down. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, but, here, but, here, but here's the other part. <laughs> shit, shit happens. I agree. All shoes have different UPCs and stock codes. But so to be able to accidentally ship that out, it's pretty hard. So to do. this is where I have inside knowledge on this because every company has some form of this where they have style codes and there's a system and there's uh, 
uh, there's a code, computer code that goes through this. That happens sometimes where you know numbers get mixed up. The the logic that's used to uh, identify certain shoes or certain parts or whatever the you know whatever it is, it happens. So it might have just been a situation where you know something a glitch or something within a system. You know what I'm saying? Because what I mean, what does it benefit them that's in the wrong what? product? Because had this Vanessa Bryant situation not happened, I mean, the shoes wouldn't be as valuable as they are. You know what I'm saying? Well, I will say this, though. It's not like Jordans where in your stock room you got three different, four different styles that come out in a month. Yeah. And maybe you got all sixes and you can grab the wrong boxes. These are the only pair of Kobe's you have. No, they had the Dale Souls too. They had the Dale Souls too? That's what, what they were what, supposed to show. This was the one they mixed up with. What, what, what the what box I'm, tag has the G with the... It the should box. have a different... What it I'm, should have a box tag, but what, I, guarantee you what, what it, I guarantee you what it is. They got Some people got like a scanner or a barcode. They got it in... Maybe it was in the wrong section by accident or whatever. Are, they, are nobody's the, looking at the box tag. They just grabbing the box. Are the Dale Souls supposed to come out? Is it like the black Dale Souls or is it the... It's the white, it's black, like white, white, black, and orange. That, that's the only thing I could think of would be... Whenever they made their tags for it, they probably just went off a color combo and they looked at color combo, which well, that, that, color that should be black. That I, should I be guarantee black. It wasn't even that. Zero, zero, I one. guarantee it wasn't even it that. It should be. You know I guarantee saying? you. It should be zero, zero, 001 instead of 100. When but, you're talking about a warehouse system, they probably just go up to the box, well, scan it. They probably don't even look at the box themselves with the eyes. They well, just well, scan well, it. But you're talking when they, when you shoes. No, I'm talking about as far as Foot Patrol. Foot they Patrol. Have, they have a warehouse. That I do know because I bought from them before. I guarantee when you're talking like a warehouse type system, each time when they go pull the inventory, they're not looking at the box. They're not opening it to make sure it's the right shoe. They're not looking at the box tag. It's all scanning. So if the scanner says it's this, it's that. But, but here's the thing, though. When, and that's why I'm saying. When you have release day product like that, yeah. there's a sign over anywhere. You full locker. You in the store at the warehouse. Do not sell before or do not sell getting yeah, shipped. Yeah, I was going to say. They're, they're, so that shoe wasn't like it was a Grinch coming around the time of another shoe. And like that shoe specifically like, yo. Well, I would say this. There's a difference between in-store inventory and warehouse inventory because once again you're talking about bigger quantities and it's logistically it's it's a little different. What I'm thinking honestly is kind of like what I said before. There's the style code. Yeah. Somebody whoever inputted it into inputted yeah, that's what into the system. But even then, it was a probably, mistake. Nobody consciously saying. was saying, "I'm about to get off in these clothes." Yeah, no, when, that's when, what when, I'm you, when you box up online orders, you have to check left and right. They make sure, and you put the order sheet in. Like they make sure that you make a business of that. So if you're checking left and right to make sure, that's how you I guarantee you they're not doing it in a warehouse. I promise you they're not doing that. that. What also isn't clear, With the number though, of shoes they are shipping in a warehouse, they're not doing every shoe looking at left and right. What's also not clear, though, is was Nike wholesaling these to other retailers? Yeah. I, what other retailers? Are, I don't I mean, the only one I know of is a foot patrol. Yeah. But I'm saying, for all we know, a whole bunch of European shops got them and just didn't fuck up. So yeah. either way, that's even worse for, um, that's for the for Bryant foot. family. But that's yeah. bad for foot patrol as well. To, to, and that's what I said. Say, like, because, because, I'm, and now, if, again, that's if all these mistake. other stores have them and didn't release them, right. you got to know there's going to be some corrupt, for lack of a better word, store employee who's going to see the value and some are going to go missing and be sold. Oh, you know that for a fact. But I'm saying, had this situation not happened, it would be the simple process of them returning the shoes and them sending out the right pair. Because this has happened before. We've seen people get the wrong well, shoe. Here's my thing. As soon as she didn't before. sign that deal, you should have asked for them shoes back. Say what? As soon as she didn't sign that deal, you should have asked for them shoes back. Oh, 100%. 100 percent that and that's the part i want to get back to the fact that she had to find out the way she did the fact that y'all had some type of agreement to me and mind you and, and i gotta say this too man because there's a lot of baggage added on to this situation one of which nike has yet to say anything publicly so therefore the only side that's being told right now is vanessa's and so i actually had a conversation with somebody from nike and it seemed like they took offense at the fact that I was like, yo, y'all need to do something about this. Y'all need to handle this. And they were like, well, we are. You know, like, they took offense to it. Like, you know, like. Who's the who's the head of Nike basketball? I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's two different uh, things. You got, like, performance and you got, this will be, like, on the There's side. so many VPs and but executives. But that's what I'm saying. Is, like, there should be at least that one kind of, like, singular go-to person that should be, like, the head of Nike basketball. You would think. That would be well, able to come out. But my point is. PR, who I think would be Heidi. Forget should be the one handling this or making yeah. the point is amends. though the point I'm trying to make is Nike y'all gotta understand yeah y'all selling shoes but PR wise y'all have had one My of the shittiest years could, what they could have did was I can't quite, get it's a simple fix right nah. you make no. the shoes Damn. they didn't sell I mean <laughs> she didn't renew her deal you can't sell them donate all the pairs to Vanessa let her auction them off 
so she can get the most money for they're the foundation as possible. That's not even a, that's not even a possibility. How? How is that not, possible? No, I agree with you. They, that would be the right thing to do. That's I'm what saying, I'm saying. Like that's, I'm just saying, I'm just not. But you can't, you can't sell the shoe though. So Nike what you gonna has do no morals. That's what I'm saying. You can't sell the shoe when it leaks out. It's Listen, gonna be that, bad. Was, that's the point I was gonna get to. Oh. And this is what I tried to have the conversation with the person I talked to. Y'all need to do something publicly. Y'all need to say something publicly, even if it's just an apology, right? Even if you just say, you know what, we're sorry for the lack of communication. That's a lot better than not saying anything because right now y'all look like assholes, right? And now, mind you, you are having one of the worst PR years ever from the Marcus Jordan situation to bots to uh, Ann Herbert to... They're currently doing a good job against bots. I'm having a hard fucking time. Whatever, I'm yeah, just saying. Because they're pure wise. Hey, y'all got your name back. PR yeah, wise, I'm back. PR wise, y'all having a horrible year. Y'all need to do a better job of communicating with the public, or controlling the controlling the narratives. Because right now, she is giving it to y'all, and you know they took offense to it. But I'm like, if y'all not saying anything and we don't see it, I'm not about to sit here and assume that y'all doing something. How did now, they take offense to it? I mean, because it was like, I'm supposed to just know they're doing something about it. Now, I guess I can understand. I, in my mind, I can imagine Nike saw it, and I'm pretty sure somebody reached out to contact her. Problem is, that's what she should have did before she had to go on Instagram. Right. Agreed. And people get like, well, why is she going to Instagram? This is what people do when they try to handle things behind the scenes, and it don't go nowhere. So, yeah, then they call you out publicly. That happens all the time. I guarantee you she tried to reach out to somebody at Nike. Either they blew her off or didn't get back to her in the time. Well, I got I got one more question. And she gotta go get. Now what? she gotta find out what pairs were sold or sold or given what? away, and then try to. Recruit well, there's multiple departments, and it's probably just too but, many layers. Yeah, yeah but, oh, but, that was a lot of bureaucracy. But didn't but but didn't they leak images of this shoe like about a, maybe yeah a month that, ago? And that was my point. That was my whole point. This picture first. It's so much to it's so much to dive into. That's a great point that you brought up, and the reason that's a great point is because I was talk Nike. Hawks online, they hawk social media for every mention about them. Every single mention about them, right? To the point where they actually create files on people like me when they talk shit about them, right? That's what they do. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not bullshitting you. So I know they saw the leaked photos, like everybody else. And no point in time did they, once again, publicly come out and say, you know what, this shoe is not coming out, but we know it was going to come out because they sent the inventory. This is why they didn't say anything. Right. So this comes down to either they did some shit behind her back or there's some miscommunication. Either way, that's Nike's fault because you are paying people, I don't know how much money, either too much or not enough to handle this shit. You are a billion dollar company doing two dollar company shit. And I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I'm not even getting paid to think of the shit that I, you know that we come on here in the show and talk about, we doing this shit for free. Y'all paying people to do this shit. Why is this still an issue? Don't get mad at me for saying why aren't y'all doing something when you are publicly not showing us that you're not doing anything. You do not have the benefit of, uh, the, you don't get the benefit of doubt. You have not earned it. Everything you do seems like it has. Uh, uh, it has to have a monetary value to it. So no, I'm not gonna give you the benefit of the doubt of having some type of morality when it comes to Vanessa Bryant. Why should I? You sit there and try to insult my intelligence by telling me, yeah, she told, Ann Herbert told us everything she was doing, but we got rid of her because she did some shit that was wrong. Well, if she told you everything she was doing, why get rid of her and then act like she did, so that she didn't use uh, better judgment? That means you didn't use better judgment. That's what I'm saying. Y'all be talking out the side of y'all neck sometimes, and because you Nike, I'm supposed to just sit there and take that? Fuck y'all. Well. It's probably more so the nature well. of business is wow. ruthless in itself. Wow. No, I'm Man. serious. Like, no, 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 no. Because I like, listen. Hey, listen. Gino, Gino. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying. Real talk. Hey, Caesar, for Caesar for president. I'm getting so mad. I'm getting so fed up. I'm getting so fed up. With the, with the level of arrogance, you try to talk to these motherfuckers, and it's like, listen, the reason I come to you yeah, and I come with these, <laughs> the, reason, the reason I come to y'all with I the problems that I see, <laughs> the reasons I come to y'all, the reasons Absolutely. I come to y'all with the problems I see and yeah. solutions is because I am passionate. I'm not the only one. You got people like Jumpman Boss. You got people like Nightwing. You got people like NJL 23 Dan. You got people like Guru. Dunks people like Jordan's. Guru. People like Dunst. People like uh, Gino. 
You got all these people who are passionate enough to talk about your brand, see the problems, and create solutions, but because you're Nike, you shit and just act like you... I mean, you, you ignore Vanessa Bryant, so I know you're not going to listen to nothing I say. I think part of the hey, problem Gino, is... man, no more trip. One, two, three, Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I want to go out of the country. At this point, <laughs> I can honestly tell you, at this point, I am sick and tired of the arrogance. I'm sick and tired of them not listening because I'm once again, this came from an employee. They're not listening to their employees. They're not listening to us in the community, and they're not listening to their retail partners. So you gonna, they're gonna start tapping phones now. Nah. Hey, dude, who, who we talking to? See, I don't think tap- there, there's no one single person to take responsibility, and I think it's like a group think issue where it's. Like the nature of business in itself. From what is I gather, and- is people at the top making these decisions, not listening to anybody because they just know better, right? They, I mean, they just have shareholders and dollar exactly. Signs. So and- they're making all these moves, like we talked about earlier, uh, early this year. They're talking about uh, pivoting from storytelling to technology. You don't have to do one or the other. You can do both. Guru said that on that show, and we made the point plenty of other times. You can do both, right? But because y'all are so singular minded, and no, the problem is. The arrogance comes in in the fact that they're number one. They're the number one brand, and they got y'all have dope product. That's what's saving y'all. Y'all got dope product, and y'all don't have any real competition. Like you, you get That's what it comes down product. to. Your old product is yes. Your flow. That's no, they, 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 like, I think we we've, we've always made the comparison. They are literally the WWE. What's that? Like when they bought WCW. There is literally no, no competition. Right now, I wouldn't even say that. Right now, they are the WWF in the early 90s where they don't have a competition. And God forbid there is a WCW that comes out of nowhere and gives you a run for your money. Adidas did almost did it a couple years ago, and you see how that got y'all shook, right? So, point is, y'all Dunk need to start. is about to run wild. Every, listen, it, nobody it thought is. the Titanic was going to sink until it sunk, right? What sunk that ship was a lot of things that came in, a lot of luck, a lot of bad luck. But also a lot of arrogance. A lot of arrogance was involved in some of the decision makers that caused that ship to sink. And I see that thing, same thing happening in Nike. I see a lot of arrogance. I got a arrogance. picture of the Titanic in the book. Uh, you do? You? Yeah. It's one of the last pages. Find it. <laughs> Point is. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to hit Gino. Point is. You did. Good. Point is. Y'all keep making these badass decisions thinking y'all going to out survive them. But well, here's the thing, though. Can we see, zoom in they, on this? The Titanic one. They not going to. They not gonna. Uh, you they don't want to hit the iceberg. They don't hit the iceberg. Look at Cashew. They having a, yeah. They having PR nightmares, Dog. but you're still making money. History though, repeats so itself. I mean, how many companies throughout the course of history, companies, countries, you name it, that we thought, hey man, they too big to fail. Or, they man, they're gonna be here forever. And then next thing you know, Blockbuster. I'm still not over it. Nah, I, I mean, but that Nike, actually, Nike got it's gonna be tough. I man. mean, but like it, it just it takes for an actual competitor to be able to come That's in and point. do the things or that they aren't doing. Or a shift in just retail. Like you look at something like Macy's. Macy's been around for like what a hundred years, something like that. And they struggling. You know what I'm saying? Like they're no longer the brand they used to be. So point is, nothing is guaranteed. Nothing lasts forever. And having making bad decisions. Based on your arrogance, people really, is not a good recipe for longevity. Yeah, people have to really stop liking sneakers for Nike to go. I don't want to go on a crazy. Because the alternatives aren't there. Plus, you got too much. But you know what? Emotionally invested. You know what I'm gonna say though? There was a point in time that people wasn't in, uh, into sneakers like that, and there's gonna be another point in time when well, people aren't into sneakers know, like that. You know that. who does have a voice that could do something? Other athletes. LeBron. He could he could take a stand publicly. Yeah. Maybe not though. They're not. What's his leverage? What's his leverage? What's, he got a lifetime deal. Where, where are you going? Yep. I'm just, I'm just saying, of all people that have a who you voice. Go to like, if anybody, Michael Jordan would have the most. Yes. Michael Jordan ain't saying nothing. Of course not. Well, of course not. Right, <laughs> but what's funny, though, is I think that is why they are trying to make the shift more into technology. I think them as an actual footwear, performance footwear provider, in terms of style, yeah, it is going to completely go away, and it will all be all about technology and performance. Because clearly, they don't care what the community thinks anyway. But they don't even care what their own employees say. Let's not forget that there was a protest just about a little over a year and a half ago. And, it, and from what I hear, there's still a lot of bad, bad blood about that. At least there's no more children labor that we know of. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, dog. Communist country, though. I'm just, I'm just sitting there tired of Nike just giving their ass to the hand around and kiss, like, though, like, look, y'all the big brand right now, but I don't owe you shit. But that we, we have to, what, what Ross say, 
Watch this whole debacle, so I'm a partly to blame. We as people continue to support Oh, 100%. Them. I, I take, a, I, them I take responsibility and in my part. We dog. I'm guilty of it, too. I yeah. was like, Vanessa, I'm with you. I will later bought some dunks. So it got to be more discipline <laughs> yeah. from, from us as But a she should not be in that position, though. That's, no, once no. again, like, yeah, no, shoes are addicting, and it's not fair. Huh? Shoes are addicting, and it's not fair. And people, even if we have, like, a moral stance or want to do something, it's, it's fucking hard not to. Listen, I'm not holding my breath, but I, I, I will like, say this. This is more of a reason to buy those Air Kai's instead of Air Jordan. Exactly, uh, you, man. You, I was going to say, you know Stick what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, there you go. go. Air Kai's, If there was see? ever an argument, Gino. Stare Air Kai's, see? <laughs> I want to uh, somebody take note of this. Uh, Gino, how long you been on the show? Longer than me. What, like three years now? That may be the smartest Somewhere. thing you ever said in your life. Wow. What, did he the youth. I might be the smartest thing you ever say. Like that was the most that was the most compelling argument for anything. Like, slow clap. Everybody just join in. You said that felt smart things. All right, Gino. That. You said that felt smart things before hey, that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it really is my trophy because it was given to you in uh, sympathy well, yeah, before yeah. I left. Anyway, yeah. y'all want to do a review video? Yeah. Shit, uh, we, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Forget yeah. it, forget yeah. it. Because I want to get through this stuff. I want to get because I want to talk about. Under I still want to talk about uh, Nike and Vanessa Bryant. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm just saying, like, I think that, you know, that situation is just you would think that a brand, a, a brand big enough, as big as Nike is, especially knowing what Kobe meant to that brand, that they would do more to take care of. I understand, dog. Like, you got I'm, I'm just to this day don't understand you paying all those people to think there of things should be that, extra sensitivity with the Kobe situation because it's one. This is like the third incident that comes to my mind. And I'm not a personally a huge Kobe fan. This is like the third know. one within a year. Yeah. Like, yeah and just and the way yeah. just, the way that it I all mean, tragically release, happened, there should be extra sensitivity. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Like it's not like he quit or got fired. Like he, you know, it's a By the terrible. Y'all let Kobe walk, but no disrespect, you got kept Chris Paul. I still got Paul George shoes coming out, so I. Huh? They still got Paul George. I shoes I mean, Paul George out. shoes do sell, but like it's like if you you talking about letting people walk if it's not doing well, like Jordan brand. Basketball shoes outside of Michael Jordan's, Russ's here and there, like that don't really do well, but you still kept those artists. Melo understood. He was out the gate. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to be the number one brand, I expect number one moves from you. I expect number one things from you. And when I see you, number one brand as far as product, but as far as PR, as far as communication, you doing shit that I wouldn't even expect from Under Armour, then, I mean, that's a problem. I mean, I, I would feel like. You know, if I was one of those signature athletes that had a signature line, I would be pretty disgusted just thinking that, for one, the man tragically passed last year. Yeah. And the fact that you, I, we're actually full screen, we're actually seeing the what his widow, what Vanessa Bryant is having to go through to be able to try and preserve and keep his legacy and his name going. And you see how Nike is basically just saying, hey, look, whatever it's going to take to make a dollar. Let's That's what it comes out of. There are more six rings out than Kobe's. There are more six rings out. <laughs> I mean, how, how hard is it to produce more Kobe's? But it's all about creating, manufacturing demand and hype for the product. Because God forbid they make too many pairs, then that's going to uh, water down the demand for the product. And I mean, all, whatever would, bullshit is going to But wouldn't that be... Before but, he passed away, that was the situation more or less. Yeah, that was yeah. the situation. I agree that was the situation. But I always... T- see, Nike, Nike's own history dictates to them. I'll give you one story. There was a company, right, that was number one back in the early 80s. I'm not going to say any names. Number one, number one sneaker brand in the marketplace, right? They, in their infinite wisdom, passed on a young guard coming out of North Carolina, right? Because in their, you know, according to their data, big men sold shoes, not guards, right? You, you, Fast forward, they are looking back at this shit like, yo, what the fuck did we do? But nobody thought Mike would become that from a. This is standpoint. why you have to look outside the stuff. Anybody can look at a stat sheet and say, okay, this, this, and this. That doesn't take a level of skill. Well, it's a level of skill is being able to look at that stat sheet and also doing some research, looking at the marketplace as a whole, talking to people, talking to your consumers, talking to your retail partners, talking to your employees, and using all that information along with your gut instinct to come up with decisions. Another story, the Air Force One. In the early 80s, it wasn't doing that good. It was struggling, just like the Kobe line. Matter of fact, they discontinued it. It I mean, took a store. Like, hold so, up. It okay. took a store in DC to go out to Portland 
begged them to come out with the shoe or continue the shoe. They did. Guess what? Now the Air Force One is one of the greatest shoes ever sold. Point is, you can look at something in the time frame and say, this sucks, we're going to stop. That's what the data tells you. That's what the analytics. What does your gut tell you? Had Nike stuck to the analytics, they would have never kept on going to the Air Force One and they wouldn't have had the success that they did. So my, saying, so my point is, you know from your own history that you can't just look at a piece of paper and say, we're going to make our decisions based on that. It takes other factors involved. That's why, like, you look at Houston, what they do. They base the whole team on analytics and they do shit for them. You got to actually watch the game, too. You got to watch practice. You got to watch how they play in the game. You can't just look at the stat sheet and say, okay, they're going to give me 20. Well, how do they, how do they perform in pressure? How do they do this? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you got to watch the game and look at the stat sheet. You can't just look at one side of the equation and expect to come up with the right answer. Who's, uh, who's CEO? Nike now, what's his name again? John Don Donahoe. So, well, he need he need to start uh, handing the axe out to people in Nike basketball because it's a shame how what this situation Actually, is turned it, into. Do he need to ask the people or let them or start listening? Start listening. No, to the people he, in Nike basketball. He, That's what I would think. No, he needs to. Apparently, he needs to let go of the people that are not. Because I mean, of course, he's CEO. He's the not decision gonna, makers. You know, he, maybe yeah, he a needs new to job. Get, yes, maybe a exactly. new position needs to be created. Yeah. Because if no yeah, one's I taking mean, accountability or yeah. speaking on I mean, it. Or... I mean, honestly, what Nike should do, and I'm surprised they've never created this position, is they need to create a position where it basically is people out in the community that just know what's going on. They just refuse to do no, so. Where would you find someone like that? I don't know. I don't to know. have a street Maybe. team? Hey, you Stop know. It. I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe it slam makes dunk sense. team slam It does dunk. make sense. It I mean, really does. I mean, why Because God forbid you actually have your ear to the ground. <laughs> God forbid. That's the problem. But You're so but, high on Mount Olympus that you don't know what the people but, saying but, in the but valley. my thing, though. They're going to look at it as why should we send people out when we can just hashtag our way through Instagram and Twitter and look at what people are saying. Because that's fucking lazy. And that doesn't always tell you everything all, that you need to know. All, all it's going to take is if Adidas or because, any of the other listen, brands become smart media, enough to do that, first of all, then they're going to follow suit, too. Social media is just a bunch of people showing you their best version of themselves. Right? They're showing you what they want you to see. I put some pretty embarrassing shit up there. But for well, the most part, yeah. You're the outlier. For the most part. You know what I'm saying? This is why you got Instagram filters. She's not going to show you the picture when she wake up with no makeup on. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Some do, though. And, and they look that's terrible. why they ain't got no likes. No, nah, point is, that's a natural good looking woman out there. No, it is. Those are the ones who feel comfortable doing that. We, but we know who the one. Listen, if, you're, if all your profile is just Instagram filters, I'm. Mm -mm, nope. I'm good. You know it's bad when you gotta have makeup on. You seen on you, you, seen, filter. Them, you seen on YouTube videos? Yeah. When they go from looking like a Ninja Turtle to uh, uh, April O'Neil? No, I watch the uh, movies behind the scenes movies on the DVDs. Man, it, it's scary. <laughs> from Ninja Turtles to April O'Neil. I put this too in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, shout out to Under Armour. I want to go through these two stories because you like Under Armour? Because no, it's a, it's some good and bad. You still got them cams? Huh? You still got them cams? Hell no, I'll get those away. But <laughs> Who you give them to? Some some kid in somewhere. Listen, what should I do first? Good news or bad news? Good. Yeah, let's okay. go to good news. Okay. Because we just had a bunch of negativity. That is yeah. true. So okay, let's go let's go positive for a second. Under Armour is raising the hourly wages to fifteen dollars an hour for the retail and distri distribution workers. An article written by Lauren Thomas for CNBC. Under Armour recently announced that they're raising raising wages for hourly retail workers in the US and Canada impacting more than 8,000 jobs. Uh, effective today. Under Armour is hiking hourly pay to $15 an hour, which could be as much as a 50% increase for some workers. The wow. part and full-time employees who will see a compensation bump represent about 90% of the company's retail and distribution force. So that means before they today... They to pay them $7, $9. <laughs> wow. 90% of your workforce was getting paid way under the table. Okay. Anyway, Under Armour... Current, this is positive, right? We gotta stay positive. I'm, positive. <laughs> I mean, I, I can I can pick apart some negative points in this story. But I'm, I'm gonna say I, I feel myself going there, but like well, uh, get a pat in the back for finally doing the right thing. Any, uh, positive. It's not even doing the right thing for the sake of doing Decent. the right thing. Well, yeah. People are getting paid more. I'm sure a bunch of people also just got let go. <laughs> just to even out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they gotta pay people more because I mean, there's a number of a number of employers that can't hire people. So hey, what better way to try and draw people in the door and we'll pay them more than everybody else? At McDonald's is offering to yours. You thought that was real? That's a joke. 
No. Okay. Oh, Wendy's is offering. Was... I saw a Wendy's drive through They offering a sign on bonus. Really? Uh, yeah. Like, okay. Seven hundred fifty bucks. No, once we start yeah. seeing people vi- uh, with the video, you know they uh, pick the college, the high school kids pick the college they want to work, uh, go to. They gonna put on the fast food. The which fast food restaurant they're gonna work at? Like it's signing day. That'd be actually kind of dope. No, no, that would not. No, yeah, it would be. <laughs> no, give them choices. But they pretend to put on the Wendy's hat and then put on the Burger King hat. I don't know. I do the same thing with shoe companies. Oh my from the god. sounds of it, they all gonna put on Under Armour hats. I swear to God, I don't want to be on this planet. That's uh, that Burger King chicken sandwich. Under Armour. That's that Burger King though? chicken sandwich. Have uh, I tried it? No. I, I haven't either. About you just want to know. No, I have to ask. You, know? you, you <laughs> thought C's had tried it, right? <laughs> no, he had McDonald's, man. I'd be a fool that. He had McDonald's, man. No, I told man. you, I hate McDonald's. He has McDonald's, man. Like, I'm not a big fan. Like, McDonald's is everywhere, so wait, like, it's wait, convenient. It's because they shorted you on that nugget, though. Yeah, I'm still yeah, going to piss still off about that. And they fries not real, man. I read Nothing it. real at McDonald's. So I, I, that's why I don't eat there. But Burger King is real? No, I eat that. Wendy's, oh, okay. Wendy's, Arby's, Chick-fil-A. They think shit just tastes better. Chick-fil-A. Under Armour... <laughs> <laughs> Under Armour currently has more than 3,000 rows open in stores and distribution centers that they're looking to fill. Uh, these positions will also start at the new $15 wage. The pay increase marks the first of a number of steps Under Armour will take to maintain and attract talent in the months ahead. The announcement comes as retailers and restaurant operators have been facing a huge labor crunch. Fewer people than expected are returning to the workforce, and many businesses are struggling to meet consumer demands as it comes roaring back. Well, shit, if you're paying oh, on eight thousand hours to work, you don't pay eighty hours enough. a week. Yeah, people don't pay people enough. All right, that's an easy fix. Meanwhile, y'all giving all these CEOs all these bonuses to do no- absolutely nothing. Who them or Nike? All of them. Oh, okay. Absolutely nothing, and I don't understand why we don't have this like. When you talk about a good business is a marriage between management and workforce. You need both. To so sit here and act teams. like it's all management and, and very little production. Listen, if you putting out shitty product or it's not being produced well, that's a reflection of your business. Right? Your name is built on those products being made. Your name is being made on the backs of these workers, not management. Nobody ever said, you know what, I like the way they manage. I'm going to go buy that. And I endorse seeds for UWA local six four five president. <laughs> listen, you know, how, listen. I knew something was coming. He had that twinkle in his eye. You gonna put up an Instagram? I can see a bunch like, of Instagram. He leaned in. About that listen, <laughs> he leaned in and he had this. He had this Grinch like smile oh, on his face. Oh man! I mean, is that is that really where we at now? Uh, y'all, y'all people be putting the Instagram posts for UA. For UAW uh, positions now? Man, apparently it works. I, it's funny. Every time I go to vote for a UAW uh, election, like, only only thing I vote on is skilled trade uh, stewards because that's the only thing we really have control over. Because, like, the president, there's more production workers than skilled trades. So we could all, all skilled trades could all vote for one person. Production is going to outnumber us. We're like, it's like 10 to 1. So, I mean, you know, there's no point. Man, so like I walk need, in. They need to do electoral college. They should. Yeah. So I walk in. And, like, there's a line of people with cards and shit ready to hand you as you walk in, as if I don't know. As, like, if you're making your decision as you're walking in, then I don't like you voting in the first place. But I just be looking at them like, nope, nope. Like, I don't want your cards because it's just a waste of paper anyway. I mean, it's, it's already a waste of paper because after the day, nobody's going to give a shit about this. But I'm not voting. I'm only voting on this one issue that I have control over. Everything else is out of my hands anyway, so why bother? But, you know, whatever. That's the UAW for you. Shout out to them, though, because they pay me well. Uh, Under Armour. I thought Jay not pay you well. Whoever, I get paid well. Under Armour. Boston. Under Armour. Oh, yeah, that's that Kingpin talk. Under. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark checks. Under. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Under Armour agrees to pay nine million dollars to settle probe, SEC probe into their accounting practices. An article written by Lorraine Mirabella for the Baltimore Sun. Under Armour will pay nine million dollars to settle federal federal regulators charges that misled investors about its sales growth in 2015 and 2016 to meet analysts revenue targets why does nine mil just seem not enough i want to uh, know where they got it from because aren't they broke mm, they, yeah, yeah they bro. Bro. Well, I know, mil, that's a lot of money bro you gotta understand they broke is not having as much money as we think rich people broke is like what we make <laughs> no even more than that 
Anyway, the U.S. Securities and Exchange. I didn't know we were on the same level. No, we're not. The U.S. <laughs> <laughs> peasants on the U.S. <laughs> arrogance. <laughs> this, I was arrogance. trying to make you feel good for a second, arrogance. but you know. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission found that for six consecutive quarters, beginning in the third quarter of 2015, Under Armour pulled forward a total of 408 million in existing product orders that customers, such as retailers, had requested to be shipped in future quarters. The SEC order said Under Armour attributed its revenue growth during those quarters to factors such as growth in training, running, golf, and basketball, without disclosing the pull forward practices. So when they say pull forward, basically it was taking future revenue and attributing it to their current revenue to make it seem like they were growing more than they were to, you know, uh, appease their investors and shareholders and things like that. So uh, increasing reliance on these practices re- raised uncertainty as to whether the company would meet sales goals for future uh, quarters. The SEC's order found that Under Armour violated anti-fraud provisions in the Securities Act of 1933, as well as some reporting provisions of the federal securities law. This is how it all played out. By the second half of 2015, Under Armour's internal revenue and revenue growth forecast for the third and fourth quarters of 2015 begin to indicate shortfalls from analyst revenue estimates. For example, Under Armour was not meeting internal sales projections for North America and warm winter weather was hurting sales uh, of the higher price cold weather apparel. Uh, so it was warm weather, so that means more less people are buying winter shit because it's nice outside, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the brand also would have had a streak of better than 20% revenue growth in, in the fourth quarter of 2015 and the third quarter of 2016. Concerned about the possible negative impact on the stock price that could result from missing these estimates, Under Armour sought to accelerate or pull forward existing orders to close the gap between its forecast and analyst estimates. Under Armour typically asked customers to accept shipment of certain products in the current quarter that they had uh, already ordered for delivery the next quarter, sometimes offering discounts or extended payment terms. So basically trying to work with them. Once again, work with us to get this money now. You know, I, what's the my man say? Uh, what's the dude from Papa? I kindly pay you a dollar tomorrow for a hamburger today. Never heard of that. Okay, yeah, okay. What that, that, old that, man phrases that? A, that's a, uh, my bad. Nobody ever heard of Popeye. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. The spinach eating motherfucker? No, I know. No, no. Yeah, I, I, I remember him saying that. I, I never, mean, never heard him say that. Hey, that. That's from the east side. That's, oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's what he said. Yeah, that's, that's from the port. That's that port talk. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> the port talk. Because he, he, he issuing out consignment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Horrible. that's how that works. <laughs> what? Look, man, if you get these bricks early, I give you a discount on them. And then on your next shipment, I give you know, a, a better rate. That's how it works. So you are the Under Armour. You use the Under Armour to mask your operation. What operation? What are we talking about? That's crazy, man. What are we talking about? That's crazy, man. I'm going to go back that's and listen crazy. to Jason and be like, that that's, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Where am I at? Oh, well, and, Under Armour. And 20- you even stamped your hat with the same stamp you used on your bricks. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so we we back to the drug thing. When, when Under Armour in 2017. Trail blazing the, that they had. the narcotics unit. <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, Under Armour 2017 that they had missed analyst revenue estimates for the fourth quarter of 2015 and full year 2016, the stock price dropped by approximately 23%, which is a pretty substantial amount. Under Armour's year-over-year growth rate for each quarter has remained in single digits or negative ever since. Last July, Under Armour's founder, Kevin Plank, and its executive chairman, David E. Bergman, were all alerted that the SEC could file a civil or administrative case alleging unlawful accounting methods. If you really want to know how the justice system works for rich people as opposed to us, listen to this next part. But after coming out and saying that both Under Armour and its executives expected to engage in dialogue with SEC staff to work towards a resolution, the SEC staff said recently that they would not recommend any enforcement action against Under Armour management. All they had to say was, we'll work with you. That was it. Okay. We'll drop this. That must be nice. Because I'm pretty sure if I did the same thing. You, you mean you're pretty sure if we did the same thing? Because remember, you on that higher tax bracket. No, I'm, not sure. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on that tax bracket. Yeah, you, I mean, you, I'm higher than you, but not on that. You terrible, see. You an Am asshole. I? You terrible. Uh, well, he is, he's a kingpin. So. Uh, <laughs> including... Uh, let's see, where we at? I'm happy you actually pay your taxes, though. You know, most of y'all, y'all do tax evasion. And you give away uh-huh. turkeys. Under, oh, um, you know, Brown. <laughs> Under the settlement, 
Under Armour will pay a civil penalty of $9 million and has agreed to other non-monetary terms, including avoiding further violations. Uh, Kurt, what? We got it. Okay. Kurt Gottschall, a director of the SEC's Denver Regional Office, said that when public companies describe how they achieve financial results, uh, they must not mistake any information that is material to investors. Under Armour created a misleading picture of, of the drivers of its financial results and concealed no uncertainties concerning its business. Under Armour neither admitted nor denied the SEC's charges and said in a statement that settlement resolves all outstanding SEC claims. So once again, if you're rich, you get to just buy your way out of problems. So... He said something nice about um, Under Armour and we spoke the truth on the other part. It just happened to be bad. On that note, there's a number of things I didn't get to, so hopefully we get to on the next show. But once again, we appreciate everybody tuning in today on our Sunday show. Hopefully, people get more acclimated to us being on Sundays as opposed to Saturday mornings. And, uh, yeah. And we have the phone calls. Hopefully, we have the phone line um, set up for next week. On that note, this is episode 296, four away from 300. We'll see you guys next time. We out. Peace. Peace.